Warning, the Drunken Peasants podcast is full of comedic exaggerations, independent thought, insensitivity, and other offensive content. We strongly urge all viewers and listeners to keep their brains and their skulls throughout the entire duration of this podcast. Failure to do so will result in immediate death. If you wish to support this podcast, there are several ways to do so. First, you can sign up for a free audiobook trial at audibletrial.com forward slash drunken peasants. Audible is the foremost seller of audiobooks today with hundreds of thousands of titles to satisfy all manner of tastes. Second, if you shop on Amazon.com, please use the Amazon affiliate links in the description section of this video. Every purchase you make helps to support this podcast's existence. Third, please peruse our merchandise and see if any of it strikes your fancy. We sell a lot of t-shirts, so we must be doing something right. One more thing before I go. To make an official submission to the Drunken Peasants, whether it be a video for one of our segments, or fan art, or a picture of you wearing one of our shirts, or anything you think we might want to use on the show, that stuff needs to be sent to the Drunken Peasants Facebook inbox. Please do not send correspondence, as this will be deleted unread. With all that shit out of the way, it's time to begin the show. From the frigid armpit of America, this is the Drunken Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. Fuck it! <laughs> you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, atheist? Yeah. Okay. You're nothing, okay. TJ. You're garbage. Okay. I just want to no, no, be no, no, light. No, no, You're fuck garbage, fuck. TJ. <laughs> and now, here are your hosts, Ben and TJ. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. Fucking thing. Hey, Suck. everybody. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, episode 302. Blame TJ. Blame TJ. Blame TJ. Blame TJ! It's TJ's fault we're late. Yeah, it is. What a fucking DVD. faggot. But you guys will like why I was late, because I... Uh, because you were on your knees uh, blowing a bunch of dudes? Uh, Almost as good. Oh. Okay. I, uh, I I made a new uh, like 30 Amazing Atheist video. video that's like 30 minutes long. Oh, oh shit. And it's actually about atheism. Uh, what, is the t- uh, what is the title of the video? Uh, I'm going to let them be surprised. Oh, okay. I don't want to I don't want to spoil Not gonna it. Not going to blow it for them. I don't want to spoil it. I, I did get to see a preview of this video, though, and it's pretty awesome. You liked it? It's TJ in rare form, <laughs> man. It's the amazing atheist talking about atheism. It rarely happens. Strange. It's awesome. Rarely. So we're going to go ahead and bring Tommy from the Bronx on here. Oh, yeah. Tommy from the motherfucking Bronx in the house tonight. Oh, and uh, yeah. Yeah, so. You know who else is in the house tonight? Hera. Hello. Hera the puppy. We've got a rat problem here at the new (coughs) studio. Our studio's infested with rats. Got a big rat. Our studio's infested with fucking rats, eh? Speaking of somebody that knows about fucking rats, here's Tony Cacarino himself. The big man. What's up, guys? The big dog. dog. Hey, Tommy. What's up, man? What's up, Tommy? How's it going? Tommy Big Balls. Hey, Misfit shirt, early, I like right? it. I, yeah, yeah. Blame TJ. <laughs> yeah, TJ, you're a piece of shit. Dude. Said to blame me. That's how it goes, right. I guess. We're sharing screens hey, with I, you can, now, Tommy. Can I, say, can I say a couple things before we start here? Sure, please do. All right. First of all, I like to say, you know, a shout out to Lance and the guys at DP Wiki. They do a great job. I just want to do. say that. I agree. Fuck yeah, I love those DP guys, Wiki man. Shout out, dude. I want to let me pause Tommy for a second. Tommy's right. The fucking DP Wiki is <laughs> kick ass now. Let's be honest. Like you can go there. Usually before the show is done processing on YouTube, they have the entire <laughs> fucking episode recapped. Cool. It's awesome. Anyway, go ahead, Tommy. Sorry, just had to suck their it dicks is, for a second. Then the next thing I want to say to uh, uh, Tommy Sodomizer's fucking fanboys out there. Hey, I got your Andrew Dice Clay right the fuck here. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Oh, th- is that what they're yeah. calling you now? Are they calling you Dice? Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's the New York thing, I guess. I mean, there's nothing uh, yeah. here. It looks like Dice. No. But whatever. I, I mean, I don't I don't want to live in a universe where being like Andrew Dice Clay is an insult. Man, fuck that. Dice is awesome. <laughs> no, and I got one thing to say. Someone told me to uh, ask TJ this. That what is he? What do you think of the Three Buck Theater? The Three Buck Theater? Theater. What is that? I don't know. Someone wanted me to ask <laughs> So he doesn't know about it. I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't All know right. what it is. It. There we go. And by the way, Brett's been uh, messaging us. 
Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Cool. He's been getting a whole. He's been hitting me up on Twitter and Ashley. He wants to interview both of us. Yeah, he said he wanted to interview me. He's he's saying now, you know, all the time he talks shit like anytime we had technical difficulties, it's because I'm an inept retard. Right. But now that he's trying to basically do what we do and he'll spend like 30 minutes trying to fix one problem, now he's like, oh, I got new respect for Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would. Why would he awesome. want to interview the dude that's dragging the drunken peasants down? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Why bother? He just Tommy, called me. He just called me two minutes before you guys did. Did he really? What a shock, Tommy. I was uh, I was on Periscope earlier. Uh, it was uh, it was the first ever Periscope from the DP Twitter, and I told the story about how you you intimidated me into taking the mask off. You're like, Ben, seriously, take the mask off now. <laughs> take the fucking thing off. I'm glad you're <laughs> he even, he took his sunglasses off and looked at me like. Like that. <laughs> yeah, like like I got the short end of that stick because he did the same shit to me, but all I got was kissed out of it. He was like, Paul right. Zico, like, come here. He was, uh, I don't remember, to Tommy never uh, never imposed his will on me like that. He pretty much just like gave me a hug and we... Oh, so your dreams weren't fulfilled. We were uh, friendly. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Hey, but no, me and, no, I don't no, know no, if Scotty... No, 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 I, I don't know if Scotty... Story. I don't know if Scotty remembers this or not, but uh, we did exchange kisses on cheeks. I don't know, but he, we were both pretty wrecked by that point. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, snap. Scotty got a little sugar, too. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> yeah, what, so cosmopolitan. Paul, Paul, what happened? What did Tommy do on Pimp Monk's one stream that that blew your mind? He pulled his dick out. All right, uh. so so Paul has told that story, yeah. and I know that's a well-known story. We were talking After about the meetup, yeah. TJ's texting Tommy like, Tommy, come over my house. <laughs> <laughs> bring, that, bring, that big, bring that big fat Italian sausage yeah. over here. Oh. Hey, tisk, tisk. hey TJ's, TJ's, TJ's got a picture of that in my girl's ass, too. Yep, that's true, I do. Whoa. Wow. Damn. Damn. TJ's Did you have that it. before the meetup? Uh, no. Oh, he's, okay. he's wormed his way into a dick pic. <laughs> oh, damn. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. He's like, and, and right, was I wrong, TJ? Impressive schlong, no? Oh, yeah. It's an impressive wing. It's like a baseball bat. It does. It looks like a, <laughs> looks like a billy club. Yeah. You know what I mean? It looks like something you could beat someone to death. You really with. could. Yeah. Big old pair of balls, too. I can tell TJ's uncomfortable talking about this. Like, he's not one of those this dudes. Hilarious. He's not one of those dudes that's I'm got, like, a big, dog. giant dick, oh, but, yeah. like, you know, normal balls. He's got a big old pair of fucking avocados hanging under that fucking thing, too. <laughs> Poor doggy. Like a stallion. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, Fuck Brett Keen, fucking Tony. The Tommy from the Bronx is the stallion, dude. You almost call him Tony the Tiger. <laughs> well, no, because he calls himself Tony Cockerino, too. That's that's one oh, of his, yeah. his, his, his alter egos is Tony Cockerino. Oh. You know right. what I mean? That's the nickname for him. <laughs> I wonder if Tommy Sotomayor is doing a stream right now. Let's see. I wonder. Maybe. Glanderson Booper. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. If, I don't know if you guys saw my video. I made a challenge out to uh, Tommy Sotomayor. No, I didn't hear it. What's your uh, challenge? What's your challenge? Well, the challenge is that I arm wrestle him. If he wins, if he beats me in arm wrestling, I give him five thousand dollars. Damn. If Damn. I, if, if I win, he can't talk about black people for a year. <laughs> He'll never take that challenge. <laughs> yeah, no way. That's his bread and butter, Tommy. Yeah. I know, he but he, he, made, he, he, made a, he made a comment about me on the uh, on his show. He's saying, oh, fuck you. Give me 5000 You can do whatever you want and this and that. And I'm, that I'm, like, trying to ride his coattails or something. Yeah, everybody's trying to ride Tommy's coattails. Didn't he say people should kill us? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he said he would. He said he would beat us up if he ever saw uh, us in okay. person. It's oh, on. Really? If I ever see the drunken peasants, yeah, out in road public, trip. It's on. Road trip. Yeah. Well, you want to you wanna come on our road trip, Tommy? Was, it, uh, was was that in a newer video? Yeah. It was. Uh. It was that after we uh we we had his channel uh spammed or whatever. Oh, so it was that one we watched with uh. Yeah. yeah. It's buried. That in was there. one of the thing. One of the various things he said is that if he ever saw us in real life, he'd kick oh, our ass. Whatever, man. Man. Which I'm totally terrified will happen now. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll go wait for him to check his mail and his bulletproof vest. <laughs> yeah, we're already Maybe there. We should do the meet up in Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> Arizona, we're we coming may, for you. We may end up doing one in Albuquerque. Uh, there, there's one possibly in the works. It's cool. Orn. It's Orn. Yep. 
Glenn. In which case, Paul, you have to go to Albuquerque. I'm Sorry. fine. No, I'm okay with that. I think Albuquerque is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I I've, said, I've driven through. I kind of said that I to you. Stayed over early. in Albuquerque yeah. once. I said that to you earlier. I was like, Yeah, Paul, you have to, probably have to come to Albuquerque. I've yeah. never been to Santa Fe, but Santa Fe is awesome. So you have to. If if you make the trip down there, you have to go to Santa Fe with We're us. We're definitely doing it for sure. Yeah, yeah, We're definitely doing it. Yeah. So. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe you guys moved as far away as possible from me as you can. <laughs> yeah, he he was mad about it because uh, I, me and Tommy went out on the town after the meetup. Yeah, and he was telling me, you know. He was like, fuck, you guys are moving really far away. But yeah, it, Tommy, it's pretty awesome out here, honestly. I was just yeah, talking today on my sweet. Periscope about how the East Coast is calling my name, man. I'm probably going to be here in Seattle for a few years, but man, I'm, I'm hoping that like New York City is in my future. No, well, we need to do a meetup there. We oh, need to yeah. do a, yeah. a meetup in Manhattan, more than likely. We all agree on that. Yep. That's Hell yeah. Fucking A. Don't throw it in the wintertime, though. No, spring is probably your no, best no. bet. Yeah. No, no, fuck, fuck winter. No, yeah, <laughs> winter in New York is brutal. Yeah, fuck that It'll shit. be spring or summer. We may then. have considered living there if they would have had better weather. Yeah, yeah the true. winters are pretty nasty there. Yeah, and it wasn't like a million dollars for a tiny little Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, this, this place that we're renting here just for the studio would be so expensive in oh, Manhattan. Yeah. A space uh, like this would be quadruple what it is here. Yeah, exactly. So we'd be totally out of our depth there. But who knows? Maybe someday. Someday. But it still has shitty weather, so probably not. <laughs> not that Seattle is like the, the oh, jewel yeah. of weather or yeah, something. Yeah, great weather here, dude. But I don't know. I like oh, it. I like rain. Perfect. Oh, dude, the forecast is like, it's going to be cloudy, and then it's going to rain. Yeah, and it's like, going to be cold. In the, in the 40s and 50s yep. every day. 40s and 50s yeah. every day. And rains pretty much once every 24 hours at least. Yeah, but during it's the summer, it's together. totally... Uh, it, it'll snow on a rare occasion. It hasn't and then, snowed like, since the 80s. It snows if in the mountains, but not on not on the, like, uh, yeah. the ground level. Not too often, anyway. Well, not yeah, not often. Oh, fucking shit. pussies, you wouldn't last a day in Canada. Yeah, well, there's I've a been reason. to Canada so many yeah, times. There's a reason Whatever. we don't live in Canada anyway, so. I've been there so many times. I don't I, I've lasted last a day multiple in days. Yeah. Fuck your day in Canada. I, well, fuck yeah, that, I, dude. I'll go to I Canada. Have, I'll, I have. I'll live in the lap of luxury for a while. I'll visit Canada and I'll let you shovel the fucking snow, asshole. Yeah, well, I'll pay you to shovel my fucking driveway. Let's go to Vancouver during the summer and <laughs> claim it like. Whatever place we have to meet up, we'll claim it as our own, like, neutral nation <laughs> in Canada. We we'll should. take over just one part of Canada. It'll be DP Nation. Peasantonia. Yeah, pe yeah that's a good one. <laughs> Peasantonia. Dude, we should totally do that. We'll, we'll have someone design us a flag. We'll print out a flag. And we'll show up at the meetup and claim that place our own fucking sovereign nation. We declare this and land Peasantonia. I dare Trudeau to, sh to come and shut it down. Come, Fuck you, Come man. at us, Trudeau. Fuck you, Trudeau. Do not, We're do chipping not, away at Canada. We're you will respect the sovereign country. rights of the nation of Peasantonia. We should just take over an island or something. <laughs> I was just going to bring that up. A few months ago, there was an island for sale. It was for sale for $1. Someone bought it for one dial dollar, but the thing is, you have to build three homes on it, so you, so you get taxed. Can you believe that? Buy an yeah. island for one dollar? That's pretty fucking crazy, man. That's that my dream. Your, is an island, man. Having a fucking yeah. island away from everybody with a compound on it that has everything I need, man. Awesome. Sounds good to me. Fuck people. Yeah, until uh, until Paul realizes he needs people for everything he needs. I'll just bring them. I'll bring the people. Oh. What, what do you think? Like, there's, I'm going to be alone? No, no. You shall be there's my so slave. There's so many flaws in I'm this gonna, plan. No, dude, I'm going to have a chef. There's, okay. I'm going to have a fucking maid. I'm going to have people to maintain the fucking pool. They're all going to have living quarters Are on the fucking farm? compound. Are you going to farm? No, I'm going to have shit imported. <laughs> So you need other people. I'll have people fly in fucking food whenever so I need, need other people. Airdrops. Of course I need other people. I need other people to serve my needs, of course. <laughs> But I don't have to deal. I don't. I'm not. I'm not going to be running around Walmart on my island. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All you need is a few million dollars, and you're set. Yep. Yeah. A few billion, actually. Well, you, know, you could have. You could have that island. Not dream. to. Not to do it the I, way I want to do it. You know what? Well, it, you could have it, some version of it. It's almost inevitable that Paul will find that his needs are greater and greater, and he will be adding more and more people to this island until over eventually time. the island is overpopulated. Yeah. And Paul's yeah. like, my island's too crowded. Yeah, and then I'll just buy another one and start <laughs> no. over. Okay. <laughs> 
Island 2. Yeah, let's try this again. Not as many people this time. If I worked on Paul's Island, I would, I I would arrange I w- a mutiny no, and murder y- Paul. You know what the sad thing is, Ben, is that you would never work on my island. You would be a guest, dude. I would let you stay whenever you wanted, dude. You could have my fucking island whenever you needed it. You'd have a place. Could I murder you and take it? Uh, Well, you could murder me. I don't think you'd be able to take it. I think all of your... Paul signed this document giving Ben power of attorney just yeah. before he <laughs> took his little trip. No. <laughs> Oh, I could Sweet. see warships around your island. Yeah. Yeah, dude. My friends would love my island, man. Mikasa Sukasa. I'm that type of guy. All right. I want the island. All right. <laughs> time to move into deep. Uh, should, should we bring Brett in here? He was bothering uh, me. Yeah, bring him in. No. I'm going to oh, talk to him Paul tomorrow. Said, Fuck it. Oh, bring him in. What's he going to do? like, nah. I had a spotlight. You didn't kill my spotlight. You know what? I put up a new Amazing Atheist video before this, guys. <laughs> I haven't put it up yet. I didn't have time. I had to leave to come here. <laughs> Brad <clears throat> Keen, you're not a so so. Uh, vote up or down? I think I think TJ. So TJ says no. Paul says yes. Scotty. Uh, I say no. Scotty's a no. Yeah. What about I, you, what Tony you Cockerino? I say I yes. So well, Tommy is the the He's tie the deciding breaker. vote. Yeah. To bring him on or not to bring him on. Yeah, we ain't got to keep him on all show, but we can put no. the manatee a couple times. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, That's my God. boy. All, all right. right. <laughs> Democracy doesn't work. More Democracy in action. Uh, dude. DJ's gonna kick- we should be on the, the plutocrats of the uh, podcast. The plutocrats. The plutocrats. See if he answers. The podcast. Plutonia. If he doesn't answer, then I'll just kick him. Yeah, fuck him. Answer the phone, Brett. Answer Jesus. your call, Brett Key. Answer phone. the telephone, Brett. Answer your fucking phone. Answer the telephone. Answer, Answer the, the telephone, phone. Brett. Called me ten minutes ago. Yeah, 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 he's there. Fucking manatee. He's just got to oh. set up his recorder. And <laughs> oh, hold on, oh no, 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 he's here. He's oh, here. There he is. Oh, yeah. Hey, people. Hey, Brett. Well, what's going on, Brett Hello, Key? fellow human. Brett Key. <laughs> Actually, uh, TJ, wasn't, TJ wasn't willing to concede you were a human. I was like, is Brett human? And TJ was like, mm, so I don't Brett, know. So, Brett, I, I heard uh, I you know. understand how hard it is to run a show now. Yes, it is. It's not easy, is it, Brett? It is difficult. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what a shot. Yeah, I guess Ben's, Brett was wrong. I guess Ben's not just a glorified tech monkey then, is he? I guess what he does is kind of tough. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. I said that on my uh, my podcast. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. <laughs> you say a lot of things. So you're a, you're the great interviewer now, Brett. Yeah, he's basically the new Howard Stern now. Yeah, he's going to interview he's me. Doing. The, Brett the Brett Keen interview. He's usurped Howard. He's Tom Snyder, basically. Tom Snyder. <laughs> who's uh, who's Tom Snyder? I know who Howard Stern is. Uh, Tom Snyder uh, was an, an interviewer. He's he's passed away now, but he used to be on after. Uh, I think he was on after David Letterman yep. originally. There's the Charlie Rose interview too. That's another big interview show, and the Brett Keen interview now apparently. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm gonna be on the prestigious Brett Keen. Oh wow! Show what an tomorrow. honor. Me tomorrow too. at some Me point. Too. Oh, yeah, shit. Tommy too, I guess. Well, I, I've heard through the grapevine that Brett wants me, and he has approached my girlfriend, but he has not uh, approached me yet. Uh, is is she old enough to be on your yeah, show, I don't know. Brett? I, well, I'll have to sign a permission <laughs> slip. Uh, I sent the message to both of you at the same time. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't see it. Yeah, at Paul's ego and Ashley at the same time. Are you gonna? So go how old? How old is Brett Ashley? Keen interview Brett. Brett how I old mean, is uh, she? Uh, Paul. Well, how old? According to according to Paul, he said like uh, I believe twenty three years old. I mean, okay. Dead so on. so how old is she then? <coughs> how old is she, she then? She's, young, she's, she's, hold on, thinking. hold on. No, 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 no. We we need to we need to squash this because I've been to bars with Ashley. I actually I went to a bar on her last birthday with her and I bought her a drink and someone looked at her ID and found it acceptable and served her a drink and I've seen it multiple times. So how old is she? Well, I mean you guys said 23. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> how old is she? <laughs> you guys my, said 23. My, 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 well, I mean, it, it is what it is. She does look young. I'll I'll concede that she looks younger than she is, but she's 23 years old, Brad. 
I don't. Well, think. Yeah, I don't know. What, there's what I, it looks like, then there's the reality. Okay. And the reality is she's 23. Let's let's just be real. Ashley has ginormous boobs. She has she has huge tits. She uh, uh, young girls do not normally she's have got, she, her 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 <laughs> boobs. I think are e cups. Okay. Yeah. So how many underage girls have like e cups? Brett? Balls. She's a 12 let's year. Be real. She's a 12 year old with e cups. <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. Laughable. <laughs> Whatever. It's Brett Keen. He's not saying anything now. How old is she, Brett? Put your hand on the Bible before you answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Now, she's Bible 23. Answer. That's what Paul says. I, I believe him on it. Okay. That's cool. not just okay. what I say. That's the truth. But okay. Yeah. Ashley has a fake ID. Someone yeah. says in the chat. Yeah. Yep. It's it's so it's so remarkable for a fake ID that everyone accepts it. Yeah. Literally everyone. She everywhere. walked right into the weed store here, too. They looked yeah. at it and they were like, come on in, miss. But well, you know, yeah, she's weed stores well, all the time. No, dude, when she flew up here, they looked at it and they that was, they just bought the fake ID at the airport. Brett, too, everywhere. I've got a great idea for a video. You can take me talking about Ashley's boobs a minute ago and you can say, Paul Zigo gets a 12 year old, a giant pair of breasts and Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> nice headline. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. I remember dirty uh, losers. I remember when Brett challenged a fight everybody here. Yeah. And and uh Tommy was like, I'll it, it was so funny because Brett had a had a hangout and Tommy showed up to it and Tommy was like, I'll fight you, Brett, and Brett's like, I don't know, you might have health problems. <laughs> Tommy's like, Do I look like I have health problems? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that that big fucking bicep looks like a major health issue to him, Tommy. <laughs> it's a health issue to anyone who <laughs> those encounters Those are just arm tumors, Look at those fucking dude. hands. Can you imagine taking a shot from one of those big... Fu- look at those big fucking mitts. He's, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I Brett, saw... Uh, Brett, really? I, I mean, I met Tommy in real life, and I, I was I like, wouldn't man, fuck with him. I wouldn't mess with Tommy. Nope. I have that same shirt that Tommy's wearing. The yeah, Misfits shirt, it's man. Cool. Misfits, yeah. I want your skull. Drunken dock worker. I need your skull. And then the rest of the song's like, you know, it's all about the hook. I know. So Brett's now uh, Brett, Brett's now friend with your old friend Fake Sagan, TJ. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Wonderful. Let's hear about that. Wonderful. And, uh, you know, uh, Case has started a new channel now. Has he? Yeah. Uh-huh. No, no, I thought he was... Reti- okay, explain no, he, this to us, he Brett. He quit, but now he's, he's, got, his own, now he's got a new channel. So, oh, so Brett, is know. that really quit? Well, I'm asking the wrong person, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, we watched, uh, we watched your, uh, your interview with... Uh, or Case's interview with you, where, uh, mm-hmm. you know, he asked you some questions. thought that was pretty strange. Oh, horrifying. Yeah. That was, it was it was an interesting event. So Brett, when uh, when Fake Sagan freaked out and sliced his hand open, and like had a gun and held the people's head, whose fault was that? Was that TJ's fault? Yeah, it was my fault. Well, when I when I originally seen the video and I talked about this clearly, it bothered me that uh, people didn't seem to be taking more of the initiative and stopping. And I'm sure you probably. So, so if that- I was, it, 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 tell me this then, if I was at your house. You invited me over, but I came to your house with a loaded gun, and I was absolutely shit-faced and acting crazy. You would take initiative to stop me. You'd come and stop me when I have a loaded gun (laughs) in front of you. I've had friends do dangerous stuff in the past, and I attempted to stop them the best way I could, especially if they were messed up. Cool. Good job. Uh, so, so hey, I'm, I'm just saying, maybe you were scared. Maybe you were worried that something could happen to you. And I get that too. If that's the case, then it is what it is. Uh huh. <laughs> I understand if you're frightened like a little baby, TJ. Oh, There's a like hero. I mean, got a gun. I understand the concern. And every man a team. TJ, how dare you not help your friend? We can just go back to the videos prior to that. Yeah. How TJ, dare how, you not help my friend? Yeah. Oh, whatever. I mean, I was just as drunk as he was, so my judgment is not the best in that moment either. All right, you guys were wasted. Uh, the good judgment is not to try to accost uh, someone with a firearm no, when you true. don't uh, have a firearm. I, I've been around a lot of people that have gotten wasted, and very, very few react like that. I mean, it's usually people, to be honest with you, with severe mental illness and other like health issues and like mental health problems that when they get drunk, they, do, they pull shit like Case did. I mean, Case clearly had some serious so, mental problems. Brett, I thought you liked him, Mendham. What happened? Now you don't like him anymore, it seems like. 
Uh, unfortunately, because of what he brought up, it it has something to do with Jesus Freak, and I don't want to get into detail on that. You can ask me anything you like, but Jesus Freak asked me not to get into that. Sure, sure. Well, the, uh, Gary said something nasty about Jesus Freak's daughter. I'm assuming. Yeah, which is which is wrong. Sure, sure. Uh, but that's you know I whatever. Didn't say nothing. Right, but, you didn't say anything. That's fine. That's you don't have to. Well, say it's already been out there. I mean, it's, it's on his out. channel. I've yeah. seen it. Oh. Okay, well, yeah. I'm I'm the one in the in the dark because I am. Yeah, seen it. In Mendham said some nasty stuff. He did. Oh, well, he's a piece of well, shit. Yeah, so what always, but that's kind of what In Mendham he's does. A, he's a scum fuck. That's why yeah. I don't understand why. In well, the past, I, TJ or Brett has been like, "Yeah, I kind of like you know Mendham and I. We don't get along situation. We don't agree on much individual, but you know, I like the guy. But now that now that Chris Anderson doesn't like him, uh, Brett doesn't like him either. Chris well, it's, and it's Mr. Anderson. Actually, actually. Uh, fake Sagan made a, a video today stating that he does like Mendham. He loves TJ. And who was the third one? I forgot who the third one was. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Captain Awesome. <laughs> yeah, Captain Awesome. You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> oh, okay. Huh. So, no, ba so did he actually say that? Because I was just joking. Yeah. What? No, that's what it says. Yeah, for real. Uh -huh. Wow! So he's stuck in like 2008. I didn't dude. expect dude. that one. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. I'm gonna murder you, Kevin. <laughs> Those were the good old days. Come on. I know that. <laughs> Tommy, did you ever see a ponage that hard before in your life? The Captain Awesome ponage of fake sake, where right? He, he where he banged his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, come on. And recorded How it. How taste my pee-pee? <laughs> I know, but... That was epic, is, dude. And he, he left right after that, though. I mean, oh, that's... Brett. Brett, you have to admit, that's good ponage. Come on, man. It's hard to... Like, if I... If I it, it's horrible. It, it, it is... Well, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a brutal fucking ponage, though, right? I mean, like, honestly, I like... I not that done to anybody, man. That's... That's hateful. What if I what if I release oh, what, really, what if Brett, I release like hard to actually believe. you know what I I want to I want to address something totally. Brett Brett you did a review of our episode three hundred <laughs> are you really that sensitive seriously like everything that happened you acted like was like the worst thing that could happen to somebody oh come on Brett was fapping to it all night long oh. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me it, it was uh, there was some rough parts sitting there watching Mr Repsian as well as uh. A pimp get whooped on like that. Even you there, Paul. It was rough. Even I, I you, mean, Paul. I mean, uh, even Brett, Paul. Brett, 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 you do realize that we all had a safe word, right? And that if any of us wanted to quit, all we had to do was say that word and it was over, right? All of us did that on, we did, we did that voluntarily. They, they didn't like kidnap us and beat us with a stick for three hours. Like that's, you know what I mean? Like I can understand not being able to look at it, you know, cause it did hurt. But I mean, fuck. Brett is not that sensitive. No, he, he is playing up his sensitivity. Also, I mean, Paul, uh, the, the winner uh, received forty two hundred dollars. And also, that Brett, is true. So. Brett, uh, you you were pretty mean to Mistress Chin. Kind you were. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, Mistress Chin's gonna come give Brett a fucking beating. He wishes. That's a paddling, <laughs> Brett. He's smiling right now. No, oh, I'm, I'm serious. It bothered me and J-Dubs. J-Dubs typed me. He said, we got to turn off the podcast. I can't watch this no more. Ooh, it, it ooh, oh, J-Dubs. Well, you guys sound like a couple of pussies then. Because... Ooh, Brett, that's rough. <laughs> I, can't watch it. It's, I can't watch this I anymore. Mean, yeah, this is. it was so mild. Like it was just, out of here. Everyone was laughing about it when it was going on. No one was like, oh, this is abuse. Like This is the same dude that used to be like, yeah, I like rough sex. I like doggy situation. I like missionary individual. But now, now you can't watch a bunch of fat guys get spanked for yeah. you know. Well, a couple on, of buddy. fat guys, one skinny guy. <clears throat> I, I want to be on the next one, not as a contestant though. That's something. <clears throat> Maybe you could just be a punishment on the wheel, like Tommy's gonna beat you this time. Oh, you gotta, shit. you gotta yeah. jerk yeah. off Tommy. <clears throat> <coughs> oh shit! Tommy's gonna cock slap you with his giant dick. <coughs> you gotta go in the bathroom and suck Tommy idea. off. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't suck his dick, uh, but uh, it, but uh, it, but if it was a dick slap, I'd take a dick slap for forty two hundred dollars. I'd let it give me a mushroom slant, stamp on my fucking forehead for four hundred oh. four thousand dollars, dude. You know, you got it. Hmm. <laughs> a lot of fucking. There's a lot of shit we could do with the next one, so. We might so, just need a big dick. So, Brett, when you called the atheist experience, who who had the upper hand in that debate, would would you say? Uh -huh. 
I didn't, I didn't really uh, consider it whenever I called them like some kind of debate. I just asked them some questions. I felt like they were dodging. You felt like they were dodging. <laughs> That's yeah. Yeah, that's your that's that's your that's your genuine Bob honest and weave. Brett, yeah. uh, I want to watch this. I got to be honest with you. <coughs> that video is awesome because those people who know nothing about you have you pegged within 15 seconds. Like as soon as you come on, the dude's like, "Are you recording this?" And you're like, "No, I'll turn my speakers down." <laughs> and then your towards speakers. the end, you're like, "Whoa, well, I, I turned it all the way down. <laughs> I, I am recording." <laughs> <laughs> what I was doing. I mean, why didn't you? Why, and he why did you lie you, in the beginning? Yeah, right? he even told you. He said it doesn't matter if you are. I'm just asking, like, because oh, I can. Uh, right. Speaking right. of speaking of, no, no. speaking of Brett Keen lies. Speaking of Brett Keen lies, we have the video. Uh, bullshit. I did have something right. I wanted yeah. to ask Brett right. about. Hold Brett. Hold may, on, may Brett. Real quick, and then you can ask me whatever you like. There's two videos of the, the atheist experience. I did it in a long hangout, and you hear me sitting there talking about this. And whenever I get on there, I say. This is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. I let them know what, what I was about. Yeah, you what? let them know, oh but you didn't God. tell them. No, that's that. Just hold on, channel. hold on, hold on, hold on. You you did not tell them you were broadcasting it. In fact, when they asked you, you said you were not. You said, I'll turn my speakers down. Yeah. And then and then they asked him directly if he was broadcasting and they're hearing it. And your he Google said, hangout, no, he wasn't. They're hearing your Google Hangout so alerts the whole time. Doo-doo-doo. What's, what's your reply to that? Well, if you guys want to play it, I don't remember saying not or no or <laughs> okay. not. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. <laughs> now we're Fine. With, I do not recall. We will fucking play it, Brett. Uh, Brett, so okay. while he's finding that, uh, can I ask you, uh, you told us when you came on our private episode uh, that you had voted for Trump, but um, hmm. people have checked the voting records and you're actually not registered. Those are vote. public. <laughs> Public voting records, Brett. Neither you or Don Keen registered to vote last year in your county. What's up with that? How'd we you got vote? The everything. Oh, you did? <laughs> got a sticker. Oh, I got the sticker. Wow, that's crazy. How did you vote without <laughs> registering? Because, to... Brett, let me walk you through this. I want to hold your hand through this one. You realize that when you register to vote, your name goes on a publicly available database, right? Your name is not on the database. So you didn't vote. So why did you tell people you did? Hold on one second. Hold on. Okay. Oh, all right. Rock on. Be right back. <laughs> He's going to show... Uh, uh, I think, is he He's going to show, show the I, I voted. voted. Come yeah, on, Yeah, if Brad. you show me an I voted sticker, you can I'm going to laugh in your fucking face, You man, can buy one of those. It doesn't prove anything. Oh, God. Look, I got a, I got a sticker. What says I voted? <laughs> Get out of here, sti- you fucking retard. The retard. fucking sticker defense, dude. Sticker I got defense. a sticker right here, guys. Oh, shit. What a manatee. Oh, my goodness gracious. I mean, if he has some official thing, then I swear maybe to God, I'll if he brings it. back an I voted sticker, I'm going to die. It, I hope no, it's it's the only natural. thing I will accept is a voter registration card. Yep. Yeah. No. That's true. Go ahead. Do you I, have a voter registration I, card? I voted. Uh, did I have a voter registration card? Yes, I did. You no. did. You don't currently? Did you throw it away when you voted? I still have that piece of paper. It's not a voter you, registration. You have though. it, can I? Am I able to show it? Doesn't have any personal. Oh, he's got personal. He's got our address on it. <sighs> All right. Well, then you don't right. have to show That's it. Fine. Okay. Uh, but, but yeah, I, I showed I don't up. Know. And I voted. Some, okay. Somehow both of your names did not end up on the voter registration rolls in any county in mm. Missouri. But whatever. Sure, it's all just, uh, you know. <laughs> all right. Cool. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah, sure. Rock on. Uh, so, uh, do we have this this clip we wanted to yeah. show, Brett? By the way, it was the same voter. It was it was similar. Uh, Brett looked up our voter registration when he doxed us. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. What? Anyway. Yep. Anyway. <laughs> oh, um, what, me? Here we go. Yeah. Not honest Brett. <laughs> honest honest what? Brett. Yeah, oh, come on. I did not dox those peasants. I cannot tell about a lie. about 10 minutes to talk to Brett in St. Louis, Missouri. Hello, Brett. Hi, Brett. Hello, my name is Brett Keen from the YouTube channel God TV Radio. Okay, had to get in the plug. Oh, that's, I w- that's I fair. G- okay, so in no way does that say I am recording this, I am broadcasting <laughs> this, I am reproducing this in any way. And it honestly, just says Brett, who you are and what you're with. They wouldn't have known that you were rebroadcasting if you weren't so inept at fucking broadcasting. <laughs> Well, I said I've been working on it. Come on. <laughs> Brett, Brett, Carter, anyway. Brett, yeah, Carter. Brett is a learning machine, <laughs> dude. Brett. He's figured it okay, out. I, I noticed it. There uh, it is. during the, the discussion and the live, you guys were talking about how people have 
feelings and experiences, but they never demonstrate scientifically any of their position whatsoever. But I haven't heard one single time on the atheist experience where you demonstrated any kind of scientific reason why God shouldn't exist in the universe. Would you be able to give a actual experience or position? So, Brett, does this, does this argument ring any bells with you as an old school YouTuber? Because we talked about it last night on the private show, and it, immediately all of us remembered a guy that used to make that same argument. Do you remember who it was, Brett? Mm. It's a rhetorical question. I know that atheists don't have a naturalistic explanation for this. I just wanted to show them that it's subjective, what they think. Okay, so so you remember a guy named Shock of God that used to ride his motorcycle around? Yeah. Yeah, he based his whole channel on that. Prove to me that atheism is logical and rational. I think it's his, true and his, accurate. His, his accurate and true. Accurate and true, yeah. Yep. Prove to me that atheism is true and accurate. And that's what you're asking them to do. I'm asking it's the same them dumb to give question. Like a, the, the question is to ask for a naturalistic scientific explanation for the universe. Which science gives. Science yeah. doesn't know how the universe came into existence. I mean, it doesn't know with 100% certainty, but there's like prevailing cosmological That actually have evidence. Yeah, the big there's thing. no evidence. Yeah, they have evidence behind With observable them. evidence. But anyway, let's move Back on because be. we're, we're looking for uh, Brett... What what did Brett claim is not in this video? Uh, he claims that he does Go to the part where they ask him. Well, uh, it, we're, we're going to have to watch more of it because I don't know where that is. Or is it just feeling? It's, it's a, not just... No, it's not a feeling. It's a lack of, of observed, like any observable information that convinces me that there is a God. Right. I mean... It, yeah, there's, there's the... Can real quick, guys? Yeah... It, it was a, a bit challenging in the conversation because I had some idiots that kept calling on the uh, phone, on Google, and on Skype at the same time. You know, maybe over... when you're maybe, maybe when you're calling into a show, you disable all that bullshit, <laughs> so it's not ringing in the background. Paul, one hand was tied behind his. Let's back. let's get and to that, this though. Let's right, not right, hold let's on. not let him divert. On. Let's not belabor this too much. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 No, I'm not, I'm not to the extreme. I'll just turn down my speakers a little bit. That's there you go. For you, but so was it really your speakers that were the problem, Brett? Because they just asked you yeah. if you were rebroadcasting, and no. you said no, 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 no. That didn't happen yet. Hold on. They just or if it's in the if it's the uh, the tech end of things, or if maybe you're listening to the stream. Yeah. So here? at this point, they don't know what he's doing. Right. But yeah. then he ends up being told. Hold on. Guys, call later. sound. It's Thank like you your computer is all down my speakers here. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what we're hearing. Okay. <laughs> I'm still so, hearing myself the though. Ring noise. No, I'm yeah. sorry about that. I'm no, they're no, down my they're, they're hearing, they're hearing the multiple way. things, bro. Go on. Okay. Now yeah, also, I keep hearing like a out. like a Skype call sound. Hmm. Yeah, it's Thank like you your computer is also broadcasting <laughs> computer sounds <laughs> onto your call. Like you're just not wanting to answer my question. No, no I, it, really it is really distracting. So can you pause it real quick? Uh, uh, you know, the idea that there's a, a part where he's like, "Are you rebroadcasting after this. that?" Some, something he's about to ask and him. I'm not a astrophysicist, and I'm not. Are you rebroadcasting your show on your YouTube channel or something? I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with that echo. It is pretty annoying. Well, ma'am, I turned down my speakers here. I'm sorry. <laughs> so there it is, Brett. There it is. The answer to the question oh, of it's, it's are you rebroadcasting this is, well, I turned down my speakers. Oh, Brett, tell them later. Brett, do you understand how this makes you look? These I are the two. It that, was like, the ring noise that was bothering them. No, no, no. It was it was the ringing noise and the constant echoing from your rebroadcast that was playing through your mic. You don't know how to separate your channels so that I your mic is the only thing that's going out? End at the time. They told it you over the they told you over and over that it was causing them trouble. They <laughs> asked you we fifteen fucking times Brett, they asked you fifteen <laughs> fucking times in this video. Why are we echoing? Why do I hear that Skype yeah, noise? That's like fifteen minutes of a thirty minute video. Brett, or... you're so fucking inept. <laughs> they were not dodging you. Your shitty setup made it impossible for them to answer you because they could hear themselves being rebroadcast. And when they asked you if you were doing it, you fucking lied! <laughs> Dipshit! My recording on Sit there, there. Is completely clear. This is their recording! This is an unedited, uncut recording of what happened! Well, I you was sitting over there with them to hear what the fucking noise was. I got my own recording. Uh, <laughs> Rock on, Brett.
That's so cool. Listen to him. Listen to him just like. Sounds, just a load of bullshit. Sounds yeah. good on my end situation. No, well, Brett, you know what? I'm glad you believe that version because you're the only person that does. You dumb fuck. Can you go to the end where this guy tells Brett uh, off? Yeah. He doesn't really. I love he's, off, he he's does, the no, he nicest does. guy. For this dude, is close to this is a snapback. He's the nicest guy. This is on the, the nicest dude on the Athe ex yeah. Experience. This oh, is not Matt sorry, Delahunty. Just dropped the wrong people. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That Oops. sucks really badly. It's right before this. Yep. It's before this, yeah. It's um, right before this. Yeah. Apology. Yeah, it's almost you right there. Believe it just because someone yeah, claimed like, it. Okay. By the way, I just got a message that you are rebroadcasting oh. this on your stream, <laughs> and I don't understand why you didn't just tell Not me that. Brad, no. Like, did you think yeah. we wouldn't yeah, let you? You guys full of shit. I clearly hush, said it's hush. broadcast. Hush. No, you didn't. Hush, dude. Brett. Let him finish. No, you didn't. I don't have any kind of issue with sitting here telling you this. I was concerned about the yeah, questions I, I, have. <laughs> I I just wanted to mention that I know that. I mean, it's not like you're getting right, away with something. It doesn't team. matter to me, but it's weird that you misdirected from that. It's not We're weird for Brad. here, then. You're broadcasting me. I'm broadcasting you. That's <laughs> You, you know, called their telling. show. <laughs> Hold on. You called their show, which you know is a broadcast. <laughs> Hey, you Brett, are you broadcasting us right now? <laughs> right. You you, right Brett, the audio this is them broadcast. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the video, after you had already lied to them and told them that it was your speakers. <laughs> you dumb fuck. No, this is a complete recording. Talking. Hold on. Hold on, Brett. This is a... If you guys uh, want to see two hours of Brett. us doing this to Brett, by the way, yeah. you can always buy our the Brett mind. Keen episode, Mind of the Which Manatee, is, available at our Vimeo store. And it's going to be on sale, too. Brett, this uh, isn't... This is, a, this is an uncut... In the description soon. This is an uncut recording of your entire interaction with these people. How can you claim that they are saying something that is untrue when what they are saying is borne out in the facts of the fucking call? The guy originally says that what is that weird noise going on back there? I thought he was talking about the uh, the phone ringing over and over and over. That's what no. I thought. Okay. Okay, so you said, I'll turn down my speakers. Then it happened again, and the lady said, I can hear myself being echoed. And you said, well, I don't know what to tell you, ma'am. I turned down my speakers. Yeah. You were re you didn't say, "Oh, maybe it's my rebroadcast." Only when he called I, you. Hold on. I'm almost done, Brett. Michael. I'm almost done. Okay, only when ahead. he called only when he called you out to be a liar did you say, "Well, I'm broadcasting you, you're broadcasting me." Well, yeah, cuz clearly it was being deceitful. Yeah, so he called out point, your bullshit. Well, at that point, you could prove Brett wrong. So then of course then he has to say, "Oh, well, yeah, I am broadcasting." Do you think people are dumb, Brett? I think Somewhere. that my recording is very clear. I didn't know what was happening on their own end. I thought they were having problems because of the ringing over and over. Well, that's Whatever. totally the point, too. <laughs> so cuts to the heart of the matter. Yeah, but. I mean, you really think you're defending yourself, but you're actually you're giving testimony for the prosecution, <laughs> Brett, as usual. Well, it don't matter what the hell I say or what I show. You're always going to say something. No, opposite. no, that's not no, true. Wait, that's bullshit. not true. Bullshit. No, no. You see, Brett, that's where you're wrong about me. You think I just hate everything you say. If you showed me well, some yeah, truth, if you told me the truth about something, I'd be like, wow, Brett Keen told the fucking truth about something. Let's bring something else up while we got Brett in here. Can we? Sure. Are you cool with that? Okay. Um, Brett, did you give uh, Jesus Freak $1,000? Yes. You did. Okay. And uh, you received $1,200 from us for the Mind of the Manatee, correct? You did, but I didn't realize if I was going to actually be on the show or not because things were going kind of slow on responses. You know that, PJ. Oh, whatever. All right. You kept changing the conditions. All right, Brett, but the, but my, my question stands. A few days before the Mind of the Manatee, you donated $1,000 to Jesus Freak, correct or no? And you I did. also donated to J-Dubs, Von Helton, and some other people out there. Right, that, so that extra $200 that you got, you donated that as well, basically, right? I donated a thousand, and I also donated one hundred to each of those guys. Okay, so okay. about twelve hundred dollars, thirteen hundred dollars, something about what you got paid. Did you make a video on your channel uh, th called "Thank You" or something, where you talked about uh, how TJ bought you a new uh, camcorder? Yeah, a lot of stuff for his family. You did. Oh, okay. How, how do you figure that TJ bought you a new camcorder? Can you explain, given what you just told us, how TJ bought you a new camcorder? Go. This agreement. Like I said, I even put that over on Twitter. I said, thank right. you for keeping the agreement. Right. He kept his agreement, and you said, he, hey, the Amazing Atheist bought this for me. He bought it. Yeah. That's right. How did he buy it, Brett? <laughs> 
by sending you the donated money. in the same you you donated the same amount. The, you donated one thousand two hundred dollars to your friends, and then got paid one thousand two hundred dollars from us. That equals zero. <laughs> that puts you at zero. So how did he buy you a fucking camcorder again, Brett? Please. <laughs> Well, if he, sent, if he wouldn't have sent the money, I wouldn't add shit to get You hear him camera. laughing? You hear him laughing? <laughs> right. He knows. You dumb fuck. <laughs> he's not that dumb. Bitch. You he's big not fucking that, dummy. He's not that dumb. He Come knows. On. He, he uh, knows no, he's yeah. full of shit. I mean, he didn't. Paul, that what you get? Brett knows he's full of shit. He knows, dude. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, I know he does. I'm just exposing it in front of everybody. I know. Neat. Brett, if you, you know what? If you would just admit you're full of shit. Everything would You probably could move will. forward with a successful channel. Yeah, yeah. Will. I got to be honest with you, Brett. I'll promote your fucking yeah, channel. Dude, if you if you if you made a fucking 30-minute video or an hour-long video going, "Here's here's all the bullshit I've engaged in on YouTube. Here's all the backbiting, all the cheating, all the lying that I've done on people, and here's and here's what I want to change about myself. I'm going to go forward. I want to do interviews with interesting people. I want to talk about news and God and whatever. I would straight up promote your channel if you did that. Dude, that that's a Paul's ego fantasy. And that's a goddamn ain't promise, happen, Brett. That's a 100% promise from me to you. I would do everything in my power to make sure that people that I watch will me run, never fuck I will, I will. You know what? If, if if Brett does that and makes a, like a one to two minute video out of it, fuck I, will, I will run that as a fucking pre-roll on DP for a fucking month. No, I want more than one to two Supporting minutes. Supporting his channel and I will put his fucking channel no. in the description. You know what, you know what he'll do? Never happen. He'll go, I know he'll, it won't happen. That's why no, I'm making no. this promise. <laughs> Yours might because you're asking for one to two minutes. I want a half hour, man. I want to. I'll go in and make well, a super no cut of it. No one's gonna watch a half hour before I will. drunken pet. Well, you. I will. I'm I'll talking about before each show. Yeah, I watch it and I will help uh, Brett be want, successful if he does it. We, we want to write the script where you confess to all the garbage, all the flagging, all the doxing, <laughs> all the bullshit, Brett. Yep. Clean out the fucking closet, Brett. Let all the skeletons out. Let everybody know what you've done. And move forward with a clean slate, and I'll help you. I That's promise you that. Vimeo. That's another Vimeo video right there. Yep. You make, you, you'll make some money, Brett. I'll send some people your way. Now, I'm not a big fucking Billy Badass. I'm not the amazing atheist, but I can make that promise for myself. I've got a lot of people that follow me. I'll send them your fucking way. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel bad for poor Tommy. No, he's he, look at him. He's eating, oh, he's he's good. enjoying himself. He's he's loving watching the roasting too. Yeah, dude, he's got a front row seat. What are you look at him. He's about? got a fucking beer. He's fucking chilling out. He's like, cool. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, dude. That's pretty great. That's never gonna happen though. No, no of course not, not in a million years. And uh, I'll tell you what. I will I will run your pre roll. The the one we just discussed. I will run it for the entire year. If you make a video also in, in that same video where you talk about all the bullshit you've done, if you roll up a fucking doobie and smoke it on camera, then I will do it for a whole year and I will actively promote your fucking channel. How about that? Oh, Ben, if he does it, I'll, hold, I'll fucking oh, hold don't, you don't, to it. Don't fucking I'll pretend fuck like you don't know what oh. a doobie is. Come on, dude. Don't, do don't fucking lie to me. A doobie? Come on, don't Brett. fucking lie to me. Everyone fucking doobie is, man. Everyone knows you what that know, is. You know, dude, you <laughs> are almost 40 years old. My grandma what's a, what's you a know what a doobie is. Yeah. yeah. Come what on. Exactly. Hey. Oh, whatever. You know what a fucking doobie dude, is. You know what that is, Brett? He doesn't, he doesn't, You've seen he fucking knows, doobies with doobies. He's a lion sack He doesn't know, Ben. He's never heard of that. I don't do drugs situation. I don't have any idea what a doobie is. I have an idea. Doesn't mean I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Dorn. Yeah. Dorn is a pothead. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I think I have an idea. Hot <laughs> situation. It's I always okay, forget Dorn. she's there, lurking in the shadows. She is. She's always yeah. there. I want. I want to. Dorn, are you, Dorn, can you hear me? Brett's the one in the shadow. Yeah, she dude. can. D Dawn, can you hear me? Dorn, Dorn. Can you? Are you? Are, are you there? She says she's going to dorn dorn your ass. You keep that up. I know. I, <laughs> I wanted to make, look, I think, because look, Dorn and I may, may have gotten off on the wrong foot. I have a speech impediment, okay? I say 
Orn and Gorn a lot, okay? And it's something I picked up from a dude I used to watch on YouTube a lot, and it just stuck, okay? I, I'm not trying to not call you by your Christian name. It's just... When I say, you know, like, you guys know this. I'm like, oh, we got to oh, I got to go to bed, guys. We got to be up at the butt crack of dawn tomorrow. I want to ask Dawn a question since she's here. Unfortunately, she uh, has been working on some cookies, so she went back. In the oh, she are, they, are they weed cookies, Brett? Come on. Uh, no, come on. Come on. You guys never did tell me what a doobie is, though. You know what a f- you fucking doobie know is. what a goddamn doobie is, dude. Tommy, doobie Tommy, doobie you know, you know what a doobie you is. You were born in the 70s, right, joint. Brett? Yeah, it's a fucking joint, Brett. It's a joint. I was a baby in 1976. Man. I was a baby in 1980, and I knew what a doobie yeah. was before I could fucking shit in a toilet. <laughs> what is this doobie? Uh, I feel like I'm in reefer madness. Now he knows what the Doobie Brothers were all about now, I guess. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. That it gives that music a whole new a spin, name. don't it? Yeah. I just thought it was a weird band named Tommy. Yeah, well, right. no. Oh, come on, dude. Get the fuck out of here. You liar. I just thought it was a weird brand name. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> come on, Brett. Come on, please. Do it now. Brett. Do it now. Say you're full of shit. Say you know what a fucking doobie is. Come on, dude. Be a real person. This is like an I quit match with Brett. Yeah, yeah. Brett and Ben. I'll tell you what. If I keep eating these chocolate chip cookies, I will be full of shit. I'll give you that one. Um, Why are you so wah, 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 wah. Uh-uh. You got the munchies, Brett? Hold on. Man. So, Brett, Brett, you oh, mean to tell oh. me... Hold on. Hold on, Brett. You said you grew up on the south side of St. Louis, like the bad oh, part of town. The the bad part of and town. And grew up in orphanages. And you don't know what a fucking doobie is. And you know what a doobie is? Foster homes, not orphanages. Foster. Oh, oh, so you were in the foster care he system. No doobies the mean there. Streets. He grew up on the main streets. No one ever fucking. Of pa- St. Louis. Like, no one ever was like, hey, Brett, how about you want to fucking spark up this doob or something? No one said that to you nope. ever. On the nope. street. In your entire no, life. No, 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 no. They were all clean. They, they were all totally clean on the mean streets of uh, <laughs> yeah. St. Louis. It's, it's <laughs> East St. It's, and also, Brett, it's East St. Louis is the roughest part of St. Louis. Everyone knows that, dude. Everybody knows that. I didn't Cringe. say people that can come up and try to do things. I just don't know what that uh, specific term is. Did you know? Uh, okay. Did you know TJ and Scotty were in the St. Louis area because they have family in that area? Yeah. Mm mm. Yeah, on the on the way out there, they they were right near you. You familiar with Black Jack, Missouri? I'm familiar with Black Missouri. I don't know if I've heard of Black Jack, Missouri, though. Yeah, it's like a, it's a nine. It's like fucking ninety percent black. Huh. Right next to uh, good name then. Yeah, it's right next to uh, what's that one town where all this shit went down around um, Ferguson? Uh, Ferguson. Ferguson. Yeah, Ferguson. it was right. It's right by Ferguson. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Blackjack, huh? Yeah, my uncle. And that's the actual name of it. Yeah, my uncle lives there. That's crazy. And your uncle's not black. No, no, no. no. That's his, crazy. Uh, uh, my, my uncle, his partner was black though. Yeah, huh? my uncle is a is a scrawny little gay dude who likes black men. <laughs> you know what? That was crazy. Is that G man his boyfriend? <laughs> huh? Maybe in the, who knows? No, no, man? no. Who knows I, where the winding road I heard road that of fate story. Go. I heard that story about uh, your uncle's husband. Yeah. Like he saw the guy who had like the anti gay T shirt. Yes. And he beat his ass. Yeah, he beat his ass. That's, That's awesome. <laughs> was he big or something? Like, no, he, I mean, he wasn't. He, he wasn't a huge guy, but he just had a fiery ass temper. And yeah. he was working at a record store because he fucking loved music. And um, some dude came in wearing a shirt that said uh, had the Tricks Rabbit on it, and it said "Silly Faggot Dick for seen Chicks." I that shirt. Yeah. And uh, Dean did not fucking take to that shit. He just fucking jumped right up over the counter and grabbed that dude and ripped the shirt off him and beat his ass and kicked him out of the well, store. That's, like, it, would and it no suck one, to be a homophobe c- to get your ass beat by a fag? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, fuck you. Um, so, yeah. Another weird parallel in our lives. I have a, I have a, 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 a badass Uncle Dean as well. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, this Dean is unfortunately passed on. Oh, so that sucks. He's dead. But, My uh, Dean is not long for this world either. <laughs> he had, you know, he had cancer and shit. Yep. But, um, yeah. Crazy dude. Uh, beat that dude's ass. So, can anyone think of any questions for Brett since we have him here? Because there were some... I, I've already asked them, but... There were some that I didn't think of because no, I, mean, I was on psychedelic mushrooms. Uh, it's, it's Brett's turn to ask me questions because I'm going to be on his uh, his show tomorrow. Brett, do you realize that when we interviewed you, we we were all on psychedelic mushrooms? Yeah. 
I I did. Uh, someone told me to check out a a timestamp on the video, and I was like, oh, that's why it got a little rougher towards the end, huh? No, no, it, no. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we we function the whole time, just like our election coverage video, which got over. It, it's our most close to video. five hundred thousand views right now. <laughs> we, we, climbing. Co- we covered the election on shrooms too. Yeah, we were all shrooming pretty hard. Our third After you're used to open. doing that kind of shit, you just function normally. Yeah, mm-hmm. you just kind of get true. used to... I, I was tripping on uh, Brett's face during the manatee episode. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, the way he talks, like, he's got that mustache that just makes it look oh, like his oh, bottom oh, jaw goes... Oh, 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 so, oh, Brett, oh, Brett... Like a ventriloquist oh, oh, dummy. Oh, 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 Brett, oh, oh, oh. stop. Okay, if you're legit, Brett, if everything you say, say is true... Stop. This is a far-fetched yeah. hypothetical. Uh, I know. <laughs> I know. Start smoking weed. Yeah. I want a video of you smoking weed. Smoke a dope. He doesn't, I, he doesn't have to smoke weed. Either. No, no. I want him to smoke weed. Smoke tons All of right, fucking weed. All right. Well, this is Ben's offer. I got a different offer. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Paul. My offer, you don't have to smoke weed. Lame. I want him to smoke I would weed. like an admission that you have smoked weed and that and that maybe that you do. Like, I want no, he's a, already admitted that he I want a video weed. like where you go through and you're like, but okay. He doesn't know what a doobie Judy is. Burnett. Yeah. I just found the poem. It was on on some fucking website somewhere. I did it, okay. And then uh, the the thing with me and Dorn, we got in a fight, and she got mad at me, and you know that's what that's what happened. I mean, yeah, it was kind of had to do with our daughter, but it wasn't the way I said. Yeah, it. And then, you know, Brett, there's two videos that tell of you telling two totally different stories. Yep. of your domestic abuse charge. No, Those sorry. videos still exist. I think one of them is truer than the other too, because in the first one, that let's Brett, hold on, hold on, let him talk. Oh yeah, go ahead, Brett. I'm listening to you guys. No, 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 no. What's, how do you respond to the fact that there's two videos of you telling two <laughs> totally different stories on your dom- domestic abuse charges? I mean, in his defense, they're not totally different, uh, but the way that it plays out is completely yes. different. Yeah. Well, the, this nonsense that's been brought up over and over has happened almost 15-something years ago. It's hard to remember yeah. any of that. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, you right. don't remember the thing that gave you a criminal record. I don't. And I know that a lot of you did, people. Did you have to go to court? Did you have to go to court for it? No, it was an ex parte. I've, I've read into it. He didn't go to court. Okay. It was, an, it was all done ex parte, but it is on his permanent criminal record. Okay. And there, so you, and and there you are, two, don't remember there are that. two separate orders of protection from Don and one from his mother. And he's told uh, two different stories about the Don one and one story about the mother one. The mother story was she locked him out of the house because he wasn't a Christian. And he was trying to beat on the door and he wouldn't go away. And she called the cops and filed a restraining order on him. The Don one, two different stories. Hashtag Brett is Dorn. (laughs) That one is two different stories. Because I, mean, I, I think the first one is more true. Because so, in, the, in the first one, he says, I kept aggravating her. Uh, excuse me. Brett swore on the Bible huh? and told this story. Oh, so that's right. Obviously, that is so the Brett, true version. So, Brett, what is your response to the, dis, you know, the disparity? He already said he can't remember. It was so long oh. ago. Too long ago. Is that, long is ago. It, is that your final up. answer, That Brett? is going to be his final answer. It's yeah, all the that's the final TV answer. Results. <laughs> See? Yep, that's my final answer. You know, it might be there's some disparity, but I just don't remember. So whatever. Cool. Cool. Rock on, yeah. I mean, hey, I don't remember stuff. Some stuff too. By the way, that the opposite. Stop blowing the, Brett. The opposite of that fucking. Uh, the opposite of that answer is gonna be what you're gonna have to do. But I will help you if you do it. If you just admit you're a fucking piece of shit and you want to move forward and you want to clean up the the past and move forward as a as a clean guy. Like, as a dude doing interviews and making videos about God and religion and atheism and shit, I will promote you, Brett. And, I, and let me tell you man, something. Man, Paul. Let me, let me tell you Paul, something, too. Paul, you're, you're, I have to interrupt you, man. Yeah, yeah. You're fucking betting on the just the, the biggest long shot in the fucking world. No, I know. To be belaboring but I just, this much for Brett. I, I mean, just, come I, on. I just want Brett to know that the offer is out there and that his success has nothing to do with, Brett, with, Brett, with, with Brett, anybody but dude, himself. If Brett was going to do it, it would be on Brett's terms. Your honestly. bad reputation could be healed. If you stopped being an asshole. Yeah. So and you could make money on YouTube. Why, right? no. why did you call Mistress Jin a whore? An, an ugly a whore. whore. An, an ugly, ugly whore. whore. Like, uh, let me that, tell you something. And I don't, I mean, don't want to harm you, her you fucking You pride business. yourself as a nice guy. What, what the fuck did she do to you? <laughs> Jin, Jin, Jin was one of the nicest fucking people, dude. We chilled with her after the show. And she was so fucking cool. And she's not a whore. And, no. she, and she's not ugly. Yeah. 
So, so come on. What, <coughs> what is your explanation for that? Like, what the fuck did she do to you? I don't find her attractive. So she's so an ugly she's whore. whore. So I don't what find does she do to you? Therefore, so, so, ugly so whore. Any any person you, you don't find attractive, after, right? What? You get to go out there and do that? We didn't pay her. Oh, she 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 yeah, bought she her. She came own out here because she's a fan of the show. And and even if what you don't find her, piece of shit. even if you don't find her attractive, why would you fucking call her ugly? Yeah, that that was not something done to you, Brett. That's just your perception. It wasn't like she meant to be displeasing to you. Like I, you know, whatever. Everybody's got different tastes in women. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah. Juniper Jen is fucking hot. She's got big old titties, a nice ass. And she's pretty face. Yeah, she's skinny. Really cool. She's in shape, and she's a, got a great fucking personality on top of it. Like any dude would be lucky to get a chick like her, especially a dude like you, <laughs> sitting in his own filth on a dirty mattress and Festus. <clears throat> so she's not ugly, and we didn't pay her to come here. So you can't make your little argument about her being a fucking whore. Even if we did, a whore fucks you for money. Doesn't beat. Yeah. You. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! So, uh, yeah, care to care to retract the statement? No, he doesn't. Well, if you didn't nope. pay her and stuff, then I guess he's uh, you know, just, just, just ugly. She's no. just ugly, not That's a horror. Her. Yeah, she's just a fucking ugly. We got it. It's a dominatrix. Don't they usually get paid to do that kind of stuff? Yeah. They so you do. think you think what you have is more attractive than Mistress Jin? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Ding, okay. ding, 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 ding. Rock on, dude. Well, Rock if you feel that on. way, buddy. Hey, Every, puppy. Like I said, everybody's got their own shit, man. Sure. <clears throat> I, did, I just think it's funny Brett. that somebody that never That's did a fucking story. thing to Brett. You know what? And he fucking harassed her for like a week on Twitter, <laughs> too. Calling her a fucking ugly whore and shit. Oh, yeah, he's geez. a piece of shit. Come on, no, 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 come on, that's what you, you fucking are, did. Brett. That's what you this did. This person you know come nothing on, about. You, you this, did do that. You followed her around. She talked to us about it and showed us the tweets. Yeah. I saw some of them because you tagged me in them. Just, you dumb like motherfucker. You're, I mean, you're, you're talking like there's like crazy stuff. There's two tweets. I tweet everybody out there. Uh, well, whatever. Good job. Good yeah, job, Yeah, Brett. you tweet everyone out two there. Two tweets calling her an ugly fucking whore. Yeah, to what a nice who guy you are, Brett. Nothing to you. What a godly, you know what? What a godly fucking she individual did you are. Nothing to you, ugly whore. You know what? You're way uglier. Like, <laughs> I mean, like your face is a goddamn travesty, Brett. Yeah, I mean, like you are fucking ugly. You look, you look you like you do not deserve to call anyone else ugly because you are fucking disgusting. You, you look like somebody. Right? You, oh, look like, you look like somebody what? gave a hobo. You look like a fucking beast whale on top of a Casper mattress. You look dude. like somebody gave a hobo five dollars to fucking Why copy a Monet painting. Why the fuck did your hair go white and gave him a so crayon? Young. What the fuck, dude? Like, who are you to? Call anybody an ugly whore. Oh, Fuck you. Brutal. What? what? I don't find you attractive, Brett, so I'm just telling yeah. you that I think you're, ugly, telling you as you're fuck, ugly as bitch. fuck. Too Why, fucking I, I, fat I, I, hat I, I, hangs over your genitalia. Hideous beast I'm, I'm of a man. That animal see you and pry out their eyes. Why don't you give me a gum job, Brett? <laughs> Is this cool, Brett? Because we, we're just not. Why a, don't you hold on, hold on, Brett. Fucking Brett. Gum Brett. Job, Brett. This is cool, your right? Ugly ass mouth. This is cool because we're we, we're just not attracted to you, Brett. Yeah, I'm we're not just, attracted to we're you. We're not attracted. We're not so saying anything. No right, respect. Man. Nothing bad about you. you. Fucking whore. You stupid you fucking, fucking cunt. <laughs> you fucking internet whore. You dumb fuck. You get paid to make you those videos, land, Brett. Fuck, man, Even if you only make a cent, you're a whore. You're a YouTube whore. Dude, you are 39 years old and you look like you're 60 years old. I mean, what the fuck? Look, what dude, happened, Brett? Dude, you what and happened? I could have went to high school together, and you look like you could be my dad. Literally. I mean, what the fuck? So wait a minute. What you the call fuck? Me ugly, and then you say I look like your dad. I said you could be my dad by my age. Yeah. Are you not, that not, fucking retarded? Yeah, I know he is. Do you not know how to listen? <laughs> Seriously? I'm an ugly Are fuck, you not dude. Listening you could to be what my I'm dad. Saying? Do you have that little <laughs> comprehension of the English language? Yeah, dude, language? you know what? If, if, if I'd never met you or Brett Keen and I was introduced to you and you were like, hey, this, this I'm my Paul dad, and this Brett. is my dad, Brett, Brett I'd Parkey. be like, I wouldn't even question it for a second. <laughs> oh, it's true. I'd just be like, okay. I'm 36, a, by the way, Brett. <laughs> yeah, I'm 35. Three years I am 35 behind. years old, Brett. Dude, 
Look at yourself. 25. Go, go look in the mirror. Like, why are you on your fucking belly in every uh, YouTube video you make, too? Yeah, you're like a teenage girl writing in her diary. Yeah. <laughs> But we you, see your dirty socks floating behind your head. But Mistress Jen is video. an ugly whore. Yeah, yeah. She's dumb. ugly. Not you. <laughs> Not you. Not at all. And I'm ugly. 43. I'm the oldest one here, right? Yeah, I'm the oldest yeah. one here. Yeah, you have seniority. Do now, you man. look younger than Brett? <laughs> you do. Yeah. By a country fucking mile. Yeah. So, Brett, she's an ugly whore, right? See, I'm not attracted to her. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's well, that's different. different. Uh, that wasn't what your tweet said. I'm not attracted to you. No, he was no. like, you're an no. ugly fuck. She never uh, asked yeah, you what, if you were attracted what did, what did to your her say, in the Brad? first place. What, what did the tweet say? I don't know. It's Brad. been a little while. I'd have to look. <laughs> oh, you don't know. Let's pull it up. Uh, <coughs> Let's see what it Hurry says. up and delete it before yeah, I Brad. get to your Twitter, bro. <laughs> Brett's pretty slow. Let's hear if we let's see if we hear the clickety clack of yeah. keys. <laughs> He tries to fucking. Oh, actually, this. I think I'm blocked or something. Oh yeah, you might be blocked on Brett's Twitter. Let's see, I'm not currently. No, nope, you're not no, blocked. No, you're right not. Right now. Nope, it it always changes. So you just go up, go back. Just, just go up to the top and and search. Yeah, look at. Uh, there's like a thing where you can sort out yep. res the just responses. Yep. So tweets and replies. Tweets and replies. There you go. That's what yeah. you want. And then just scroll down to like the week of the fucking three. I'm just looking episode. for the part where you said where she was like, "Brett, do you find me attractive?" And well, he said, "20 hours ago. So let's I don't find you attractive, respectfully." Yeah. Brett tweets every fucking little thing, so you're probably gonna have to go back several pages. He always likes his own comments too. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're on the 26. <laughs> when would this have been? Let me let me ask Brett something while you're looking for that. Brett, you have anything with Pimp Monk's channel going down? What are you talking about? Pimp Monk's channel went down. Uh, he, well, he got a suspension, so he can't log into his channel. And uh, he, what we've kind of like looked into it, and I think it, it, maybe it's happened to TJ before, and he thinks it's maybe a comment that got flagged. I was just wondering if you knew anything about that. Well, for that. me it was. I don't know about for Pim. Sure. I'm, I'm thinking that it's probably the same thing because his channel is still there. Oh, community strike? You yeah. Mean? Mm. So more than likely he left a comment somewhere and somebody might have flagged it. You, you know anything about that, Brett? Nope. Nope? Okay. <laughs> just thought I'd ask. By the way, Pim Monk does have a new channel. I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> Hold on. That was, that was to her. There was a few to her up there. Pimp Monk X One, that's his new channel. Oh, that was uh, that was Thank when he you, was Tommy. like being nicer. So Pimp Monk X One, a little further back. Be right back, guys. I gotta get some vapor juice. Uh, French vanilla. French yeah, vanilla he's, situation. He's yeah, he's got to go roll a doobie. Go roll he that doob. How, how can someone Brett's age fucking t tell a fucking lie like that? That's, that's a silly lie. A dupe? Dupe? What? I don't know what a dupe is. Come on, situation. everyone knows. Here's, uh, here's the tweet we were looking for. Yeah, here it is, right there. I have a beautiful wife. I don't need a cheap whore like most of you do. Wow. There's other ones, too. Oh, yeah, that's just one of, of several. I don't need no cheap ass whore. I don't need a cheap whore. Hey guys, make sure you leave that. Friendship. Make sure you leave that up so he can read it. To oh, us did you notice that back. Brett had to leave right when that that damning thing came up? How did that happen? Wow, what, what was the timing on that? Like, <laughs> how did? <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. Go ahead. Sorry, you've been quiet most of this time. So right. What was what? What did she say before he wrote that? Nothing to him. She never oh, sought it. him out. No. Uh, she wow. was repulsed by Brett Kane. The what's hey, the Brett. context? Can you scroll up that chain there? Brett, that was kind of brutal, Brett. Someone said uh, I don't give a fuck. Like she's way hotter than anything Brett could ever pull. So oh. you, you you tagged uh are you there, Brett, by the way? Did you get your the French hell? vanilla yeah, vapor? Back. Okay, I'm cool. Uh <laughs> so right here we just pulled up this tweet. This is from your account. Um, I can't see the date, but you can probably. Uh, it's November 19th. November 19th. So that was right around uh, the 300th episode. I have a beautiful wife. I don't need a cheap whore like most of you do. Mm. There you go. And, you and this is a response to her. This is a response to her. Did she tag him? No. 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 So you, so you decided. You decided unsolicited. You decided unsolicited to go to a woman's Twitter. Who you know nothing about clearly because you you have demonstrated that for everybody live here, and call her a cheap whore. Is that what a Christian does, Brett? Yeah. Wasn't Jesus? Uh, well, he's not a Christian. Remember? Yeah, right here. Here, here's a Theist. God believer. Uh, okay. So, so Jesus. Yeah, got Mary Magdalene. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, would God, hey, would God uh, like you calling a woman that you know nothing about a cheap whore, Brett? Depends on which well, God it is. In the, uh, in the Bible, the word whore is used. Okay, there you go. Well, there you go. I guess so. I guess, so that's, response, I guess the God that so Brett, is the word Satan. Yeah, I, so I, I guess I guess the God that Brett Keen worships likes it when you go around calling people you don't know cheap whores. Any good to word, know, Brett. Any word in the Bible I means that. that man, you, you got you got any more of that good word for us tonight, Brett? Is it cool to tell your mother to go fuck herself? Is that cool too? You're such a worm. Oh, you were actually asking me a question about that. I was, yeah. If my mother would have been a dominatrix or a hooker, sure. Oh, so dominatrix and hooker are the same thing. So hookers, that's an equivalency. <laughs> hookers are not people with feelings. <laughs> I didn't say she didn't have feelings. Oh, so do you think it felt good for her to be called a cheap whore by somebody on the internet? It's never nice to call people names on the internet. That, nope. That's true. So Brett. why'd you do it? So why'd you do it, Brett? This isn't one well, of us. This is just somebody that helped us out. Phases at the time. Excuse me? Say I, again. I was my asshole phases at the time. Oh, an asshole oh, phase. He was going through oh, one of your asshole phases. One of them. The one that started That's, when you were born and I, I have a feeling that was also during your, I have a feeling that was also during one of your Christian phases too. Did that phase begin in 1977 and continue through 2016? The asshole phase. Phase yeah, whatever. Keeps on trucking. That's man. A yeah, because right? because when you're doing wrong shit, you're not a Christian. But when you're doing right shit, you're a Christian every fucking time. So do you realize that when you have one of these quote unquote asshole phases, that it doesn't endear people to you and it makes them kind of hate you, especially when you don't ever apologize or anything until you're grilled yeah, live you know in front of thousands funny? of people. You know what's funny? Like, with all of us, he could say, oh, they insulted my family. But this is one person that literally ignored his ass yep. and, if anything, was polite to him. Never interacted with him before. Never sought out an interaction with Brett yep. Keen. Ever. Yep. Once. And he came to her and Cheap talked whore. shit. <laughs> so, Brett. What a God believer. Brett, yeah. Come on, dude. Justify this for me. Justify well, I just told my you what I thought, but you guys said that you didn't actually pay her to come out, so I guess what I was mean, incorrect what you about thought? the thing. Okay, redirect, so, misdirect, pivot. That's just the Brett King right. Thing. So, so how how does that make you a good God believer? Can can I ask uh, Brett? Standing in judgment of other oh, people. I can only say I'm a work in progress. Oh, so you're uh, you're so you're you don't call yourself a Christian, so you can continue to be a piece of shit and justify right. it. Is that what it is? Oh, I have said in video that I fuck up at times, and uh, mm -hmm. I wouldn't make so, a good Christian because I'd stain it. Sure. So you're admitting right now that what you said was wrong. I I do have my moments where I say some... Uh, some well, you're admitting that what you said yeah. was wrong, <laughs> right? If he wasn't paid, then I guess he's not a hooker. Okay. You're admitting oh that God. what you, Brett Keen, said was wrong, Right? All right, I will say that I am wrong for doing that to her. Okay. Wow. Wow. It, it only took, took fucking 20 tries. minutes yeah. to get that out of you. Christmas but. miracle. It's neat. Come on. <laughs> Man, you might you might end up liking this honesty thing, Brett. Give it a try <laughs> more often. It's easy, isn't it? Because you could have just said yes 15 fucking minutes ago and saved all that acrimony. <laughs> Dumb fuck. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. So, yeah. uh. Talk about that one. What up? That's a keenism. I hear you. I, I hear you. I'm sitting there. <laughs> yep, sitting here listening. I'm sitting here listening, hearing. I'm hearing hey, you. Brett. Hey, Brett, are you broadcasting right now? Uh, let me think about it. <laughs> no, I'm sitting here on you guys' broadcast. That's cute. Uh, <laughs> I can tell he's not broadcasting because we haven't heard any echoes or weird noises <laughs> come from him. <laughs> But he said he's learned better, so maybe uh, maybe he's just gotten a little yeah, better at hiding is. it. You know, you maybe he know. is broadcasting. What does it matter? I can't. I can't believe that he wouldn't be. I don't want the drunken presence right now. God, TV Radio Live. J Dubs whispering in his ear and shit. All oh, right. oh, Brett, you need to go live, Brett. It's J Dubs. Oh. All right. Let's. Oh, uh, uh, Laven. Oh, boy, thanks, nice Brett. Oi, oi, uh. Let's say bye bye to Brett. Yeah. Oh, you want to get rid of Brett? Yeah, I want to. I want to do. I want to do a little bit of a show. <laughs> 
rather than just grilling Brett again, because uh, we already have an episode. Oh, so you want to we... keep Brett for the show? <clears throat> well, we already have an episode two out two hours long. If uh, if they want to fucking see more, I know plenty of them haven't bought it yet. So buy that shit if you want to see more of us uh, and Brett conversing in this manner. All right, Brett. Thanks for being on. Thanks for conceding certain things. <laughs> yeah, peace out, Take Brett. care. Have a good night. Bye, bye, Check out Brett. God TV Peter Radio. Brett. See you tomorrow. Check out God TV Radio, Brett Keen Superstar, you and Brett. I will yeah. be interviewed by Brett Keen tomorrow. It's oh, true. Is, that, is that still yeah, on, I Brett? Do one last thing before I go. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. If you go over to VidMe when you get an opportunity, you'll see that I have removed 90% of the videos. Well, I, well uh, Brett, Brett, it's funny that you mentioned that. I'm going to bring up one last thing. You, right. that's, that's where you moved all your nasty video. <laughs> How was that an accomplishment? Well, okay. How I is removing videos? Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> How is removing videos from the place when you're like, I'm not going to post shit videos on YouTube anymore. Now they're on <laughs> VidMe. And now you're like, well, I removed the shit videos from VidMe now. Oh, VidMe was anyways. just a place where you weren't posting shit to YouTube. No one goes to VidMe. That's probably why he took him down. But that is where he stashed all his worst shit about yeah, TJ and I me know. and you and everything. Yeah, mm. right. Well, his he was trying to pretend like he was doing better on YouTube by not posting those kind of drama videos. But he on had to YouTube. have an outlet for that right. venom and so nastiness. He was, yeah, right. And so I was like, was I removed all the venomous lies I told about you. So <laughs> all right, Brett. Anyway, good night. Good night, Brett. See you tomorrow. All right. Right. Look, looking forward to it. Holy shit! The guy's exhausting. Holy shit! Ugh, ugh, <laughs> ugh! I I want to take a shower right now. He is a sleaze. We had man. two Brett King meltdowns. Like Ben and Paul just had meltdowns. Yeah, dude. <sighs> we all take a turn, though. If you go back and uh, watch my first interaction not, not this with Brett, episode. I was so nice to him. Oh yeah, me too. Oh yeah, my too. My first interaction you with Brett was I his, sucked though. his fucking dick on I, YouTube. You guys were fans of his. I had the like post Brett thing going on. And I was nice to Brett even after he was an asshole. For well, a long time. Well, then he recorded time. you and then used that. Well, and, and and he still has never posted the unedited video. Of course, that we asked him to do. Yeah. yeah. No. Of, of course, course he hasn't. Why would he? Why would he? Yeah. He doesn't have it. Because I don't say that. What a retard. We're going to be waiting a while on that one, Paul. TV Action News. Just want to remind everyone, tonight's uh, installment of DP Action News is brought to you by Amazon.com. Use the Amazon links in the description below for your holiday shopping. It's Cyber Monday right now, so if you use those links to take advantage of any discounts there, it will support the drunken peasants without any additional cost to you. I'm hearing Tommy is live, dude. Oh, is he? Oh, shit. <laughs> This in, this this installation of DP Action News has yeah. been interrupted for a special segment. Tommy Sotomayor is live, and Glanderson Booper is warming up. Let's yeah, see. everyone, get your boopers. Oh, Let's see if it's uh, true. Or if people are just I lying. Smell burning. Is that yes. like? Yeah, dude. What is that? The food out the window? It smells like food. Yeah, somebody must be cooking hey, one of those. Could you guys also write in there? Except, except Tommy from the Bronx's challenge. I don't see shit from Sotomayor, Ex but hold on. Right he in has where? multiple channels, though. Oh, yeah. Mm, dude, that smells so good. <laughs> Sotomayor. There he is. There oh, he is. There right. he is. Oh, shit, All right, guys. All right, he's live oh, over shit. on Tommy Sotomayor's Boomer, Everyday Life. Yes. Glanderson, Glanderson Booper. Glanderson Booper. Glanderson Booper. Glanderson Booper. Glanderson Booper. Glanderson Booper. <laughs> Where is he? There's a Ferris wheel behind him. Where is he? Hey, everybody. Maybe he's here. Is he in Seattle? It's your boy. He's in Atlanta. Hopefully. Tommy Sotomayor. If he is, here. let's go meet him. Someone Fuck says he's in dude. Atlanta. Oh, he's in Atlanta. I'm in hot Atlanta tonight, and the white boys are out in force. Oh, it's Glanderson oh, Booper. Oh, 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 Already oh, oh, they're so oh, quick. Glanderson Booper's there. Okay, let's all, right, all right, turn his volume on a little bit. Yeah, let's hear him. Clan. I want to see. I don't care what they write because I'm not recording the chat room, so it's okay. We are though. 
We're recording. Ah, Glanders and Booper. Glanders and Booper. The white guys. It's all coming from the white guys. What's up, Tommy? Do me a favor. Write Tommy from the Bronx in there, too. Yeah, yeah, throw some Tommy, Tommy from the I've Bronx. Seen a Tommy few. from the Except Bronx. Tommy from the Bronx challenge. Tommy pussy. from the Bronx. Except Tommy's challenged. Except Tommy, Tommy from the challenged. Bronx's challenge. Like, it's happening, like, Tommy. Except that, Tommy right? from the Bronx. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Doing your stuff live. Let me see. What is his name? Um, Glanderson <laughs> Booper. <laughs> the drunken peasant. He knows. He's gonna come look at our channel play. right now. <laughs> They used to bring down their show. Yep, everything. they're live and they're doing it right now. <laughs> uh, I've seen it done before. It usually brings down their show. Hi. Oh, you want to bring down so our let me show? See if I can. He's gonna try and bring down is. our show. Try it. Glanders and well, boo. I'm gonna bring down the show. I'm gonna take down the show. Yeah, I can start from right there. It should bring down their show. Yeah, Do yeah. It. Try it. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna file a fucking DMCA. Sweet, we can sue his ass. Yeah. Glanders and boo. And if you guys could go over there, make sure you just like this show right now. Glanders and boo. Glanders and boo. Glanders and boo. Glanders and boo. Tommy's having a fucking mess. You will be there. sued, Tommy, if you DMCA. Yes. Yep, because that's not uh, what the DMCA is for. It's against the law. Right. You're breaking the law. I don't, know if, you can file, breaking I don't, the I don't law. know if you can file a DMCA on a live show. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking well, the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Hashtag probably, look it up. He's, right probably, now. he's probably just bluffing. He or, he might, or he might flag or something, but that's about it. Yeah. Flag it. Right now. Yes. Oh, like like a faggot, Tommy. He's probably not listening. I can see the reflection of his computer in the window there. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's probably trying to fuck you, Tommy. flag the channel you, or flag Tommy. the uh, video as abusive or tan. something. You're tan. You're tan, y'all. Tan. You're tan. No, what everyone the fuck up downvote. Tan. Downvote, him. Tan, downvote him, too. Yeah. Please, let's everyone. See a, let's see a cascade let's, of downvotes. Let's get way downvote. more downvotes. Ooh. I think this is stupid We're not stalking shit. you. We're not stalking you. You false flagged us. We're watching your publicly broadcast show. And this show. is why we're never going to let it go because... I'm stalking you by watching your publicly broadcast show. He's so fucking show. dumb. Who? He's like, man, they're sending all kinds of people to my show and raising my view count up. Fuck them. Exactly. What a moron. and I'm going to download him too. Oh, yeah. Someone DDoS him too. <laughs> don't order that. No. no. That breaks the law. That I was mean, a joke. Don't do yeah. that. Don't, don't DDoS do that. him. Don't do what Ben said. Joe. Yeah, Ben, no. Ben, be quiet. <laughs> Bad Ben. The views of Ben do not reflect the views of the Drunken Peasants yeah, exactly. podcast. <laughs> Look at all those downvotes. Oh, they're beautiful. Glanders and Glanders. They're just coming in a cascade. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Someone said you are racist to him. Ha <laughs> Right. Man, he's on the oh, case yeah. though. He's 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 a bloodhound. Yeah, look at he's him. Trying, he can't man. do shit. He's garbage. He's like, we're taking. I'm taking I the show. Do, I could this show's them. going down. Once I take them down, Tommy's taking yeah, you take down. Show down, bitch. Once I take their yeah. show down, then the harassment yeah, will well, stop. Like, uh, Dude, <laughs> Tommy, you're so dumb. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Tommy's never heard of the Streisand effect. No, dude, he's not. But he's going to learn about it if he does. Oh, then boy. Down. If he's successful, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Fuck and Tommy. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck bitch. Woo. See me now, bitch. Because I'm pretty sure Woo. this is against YouTube policies at this point. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's no, it's not. Is it's against you? It's against YouTube policies to send people to a live show that you're this doing. Uh, so. Dumbass. How would that be against the rules? It happens all the time. It's called a raid. It brings views to your channel. You should be fucking thanking us. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna make yeah, money, Get down Tommy. on your knees and suck my fucking <laughs> dick, Tommy Sodomizer. Tommy, you're making Tommy that. money. We're making Tommy money yeah. right now. Tommy's yeah, yeah, be thanking us. Sure. Money, money, money. I'm gonna thank you, Tommy. Come on. Glenderson. Our 
Dante's on YouTube are numbered. Tommy Boys, Sotomayor's it's... on the case. Ah. Boys, it's all over. It's, it's it's time. twice as many dislikes as likes. Uh, cool. People don't like your show. Guys. Your show sucks, One Tommy. second, guys. Gotta follow oh, my shit. false DMC sounds like, sounds like he's getting knocked offline right now. Glanderson Pooper. Oh, Tommy. You're the one that fucked with us, bud. We're just showing you a little love, that's yeah. all. Send you some people Look to your at him. I wish she would go live so we could talk. talk. That he's, would be nice. he's a coward. He is Do a you, coward. TJ tried to talk to him yeah. on his show, and he pussied out. Yeah, he did. Can we, uh, maybe we should take that little, that small break for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, come back in two minutes, and we'll just continue uh, her, the, the uh, Tommy campaign. Everybody hold on. Two-minute break. Yep. Small two-minute we'll break. We'll be right back. Got to play some messages. Go ahead, take this. Good. Yeah. Mute now yourself, is the time. Tommy. Okay, can you mute yourself before you go? Thanks. Cool. Careful for the dog. Just make sure. All right, he's good. All right, let me talk to you for a second about Omaha Steaks. They recently sent us a great package of high-quality steaks. I cooked some burgers for everybody, and they were tender and delicious, just absolutely premium aged beef. Um, right now, we are offering uh, an exclusive savings just to our listeners. Uh, what you will get for less than $50 is two filet mignons, two top sirloins, two boneless pork chops, four boneless chicken breasts, four kielbasa sausages, four burgers, 12 ounces uh, packaged all beef meatballs, four potatoes au gratin, four caramel apple tartlets, one Omaha steak seasoning packets, and you get four additional kielbasa sausages for free. Go to omahasteaks.com and enter our code DRUNK in the search bar. Add the family gift pack to your cart and get a 77% savings. It's the gift that is guaranteed to be a hit. Omaha Steaks, delicious stuff. If you're anything like me, you've been looking for a good pair of socks your whole life. I've worn socks that slip down around my heel, bunch up around my feet, uh, fall off in my shoes even. Recently, we were sent a pack of Stance socks, and I've been wearing them pretty much every day. And I've got to tell you, I think I've found my new brand of socks. These socks are awesome. They are thick and well-made. They keep my feet warm. And best of all, they don't slip around when I walk around in them in my shoes. Stance is a company that's headquartered in San Clemente in Southern California. California. Uh, it was founded in 2009 and is now sold in over 40 countries. Uh, Stance ignited a movement of art and self-expression that has drawn athletes, performers, and other iconic personalities to the brand. And uh, Stance is the official sock of the NBA and Major League Baseball. Uh, recently, they just released a new Star Wars collection that you nerds can go and check out. Uh, a lot of awesome Star Wars socks. Great gift idea there. Um, go explore the newest and best-selling collections for truly amazing gifts that will make your loved ones smile or shop for yourself at stance.com that's stance.com stance the uncommon thread uh, I guess that uh, in that time uh, Tommy closed his chat <coughs> so sad yeah it looks like it let's see what he's saying let's see what he's talking about <laughs> so what's interesting is that yeah what's interesting buddy I'm glad you talk slow enough to let us interject our commentary. YouTube has not a, had has not thought. Uh huh. To let you guys flag us. Oh, Tommy. Oh, you can't flag us for that. Oh, damn. Individuals who just get on YouTube to fuck with other YouTubers. Like I've never understood that. Like, eventually, I'm sure they have to take down their whole channel when their whole channel is based on let me fuck with other YouTubers. They have to do this. Yeah, I'm going to try to make the sure peasants, that we yeah. get that done. Uh huh. Because for an individual to to for people to say we're enjoying the idea, we're just going to go around and raid raid people's stuff. I don't. Yeah, understand. we invented that, dude. Yeah. No yeah. one did that yeah. before nope. us. No, we're the first. <laughs> yeah, we invented I, I, the I raid. would love to take credit, but come on, we didn't invent. How that about a thank you, Tommy? Yeah, thanks for all the views, guys. How about, How about, about thank that, you? bitch? <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys for joining. 
Um, and um, thank you guys for um, making sure that we got our views. And now we'll move on. And as a matter of fact, even this part of the show, when I do the replay, I'm going to cut that out. Cool, uh, we won't. It never happens, we won't. So we're going to go right back into the subject. Cool. Now, again, I have looked at All life. Right. We're going to cut that out, and that never in, happened, in a different kind of way. That shit never My happened, y'all. My looking at life is. Well, now you're boring. I always thought. Yeah. Gay. It's just because yeah. Tommy knows he looks really bad. And look at the so views. Be like, oh, I'm gonna take that out. Watch the views. Yeah, just everyone, you away. can leave Tommy's room so we can watch his views. Yeah. just shrink. Everybody, his shit. leave now. He's talking about normal <laughs> things again. Let's just go let back. him know that you're. He's only fun to raid, and uh, you don't actually want to watch. I'm gonna watch those ass. 900 views go back down to like 100. Yeah. How low will it go? <laughs> How low can it go? What do you See think? you later. How low can it go? What do you think, TJ? How low can it go? How low can it go? How low will it go? Just crossed eight. Some, I hear he almost said Glanders and Booper. <gasps> Shit. I wish he had done it, dude. <laughs> almost. Oh, he removed the ratings, too. That's awesome. <laughs> he did. What a pussy. God. Y'all Man. obsessed with him. No, not really. Not really. Just, uh... Just an amusing little distraction. Yep. Oh, that 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 must be somebody from his stream coming over here. No, actually, uh, if you're if you're still there, Tommy uh, tried to have our channel taken down for absolutely no reason other than the fact that he was butt hurt that we didn't agree with him about something. So ever since then, uh, we like to every once in a while take our time out to uh, send him some love. Yeah, yeah, just give him. We want. We're trying to help him out. I mean, look at his views. Looper. Look at his views. Uh, description box. Since I mean, he was over, he was up well over a thousand, and now he's dwindling. Listen to him. Okay. You see that? See what I deal this with? Is not People that's writing Glanders and Booper up in I'm my not chat. I'm around doing this stuff myself. So if, if what I want to be able to do is be able to build all this stuff and have it on the website. Yeah. Oh, this is where he's Jesus asking for money for the copyright you know, because you know. of us. This is why I need money, yep. y'all. I heard that tone of sure voice. I wish it was that. possible yeah, to give him negative money, dude. I wish it was possible to send him something that just takes his money away. That'd be awesome. Oh, yeah, that's a lawsuit. He's all Hopefully, fucking statute of right limitations now. has pay. not yet ended. He'd never pay, dude. <laughs> Even if we won? We could nope. garnish his wages. He, like, he doesn't make he money don't make like no that. fucking money where you can go. He doesn't have a job. He does on YouTube. Wages. You you can't garnish that. Oh, well, maybe his bank account. Yeah. yes, you can. If he had YouTube money, then maybe that, we that, could garnish that YouTube. Might, YouTube that might be Dude, he has like three channels with two hundred thousand subscribers. Well, yeah. So I mean, like, and and it was less than a year ago that he false DMCA'd us. And we I definitely he, like, wasn't he just saying he was going to affected... return to the subject and stop talking about us, but now he's like obviously obsessing with it us did, again. It yeah. adversely affected your channel and our channel. Oh yeah. Yep. So uh, we've got donations from two people. Oh, oh. Hans huh. Shannon donated, and all the people. All right, who came I don't think he's God. Hey, you know uh, interesting fact about Tommy. I don't think he's blocked everyone on his Sean. Twitter. Yeah, you want to tweet him? Uh, what's his? Yeah. I think it's TJ Sotomayor. No, it's like IG TJ Sotomayor. Let's check it out. I can't believe people keep donating to Tommy though. He does the same fucking scam over and over again. Well, obviously his fans are retarded. They yeah. must be. They are retarded. That's for sure. Twitter. Yeah, Tommy from the Bronx has been dealing with them for the last few days. What's well, yeah, Instagram? I'm, I'm blocked. Oh, okay. He blocked me. Can we just change Every it from an? Can we just? We're oh, blocked oh yeah, we're blocked. We're blocked, but can that doesn't just, mean. Uh, can we change it from an arm wrestling match to a boxing match, please, Tommy? Well, he definitely would, would never agree well, to that. Well, the only reason why I was gonna say that, but the only reason why I didn't say it, he'd probably get me for bullying. So I said, you know what? Let me just change it to an arm wrestling match. So he, so he I'd wouldn't like be, a boxing uh, match better. A sanctioned boxing match. I like a UFC match. match. Tommy, a UFC match, yeah. It's uh, at, what is it? At TJ Sotomayor, right there. At TJ Sotomayor. Glanderson, Glanderson Booper. Booper is coming to. And also Twitter. remind him to accept Tommy's challenge. Yeah. Yep. Let him He's let garbage. him know that Tommy from the Bronx has not uh, forgot. Tag Tommy too, so he can and, see uh, it. And tag me so I can see it too. Yeah, I want to see too. Yeah. Glanderson tag. Booper, take Tommy's challenge. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? He's like they just having a good old time. And if I can, yeah. It's just the idea that it's been months. Yeah. And a group of people who I do not know. 
Yep. You know who we you are. Know. Continue to yeah, no. just say dumb, dumb shit. Like, I don't understand it. I uh-huh. honestly but just dumb no shit, idea. then just let it you fucking slide down shit. your fucking off your shoulder, dude. Just forget about it if it's just a bunch of stupid shit Seriously. to you. It almost looks like he's in Vegas. Kind of ah. does, yeah. They have that big Ferris wheel in Vegas. Dude, Tom, Tommy is so fucking butthurt. Oh, he's in Atlanta? Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Atlanta. Atlanta. Continuing to he's probably there on his dumb fans' show. dime, too. Thanks, dumb fans. Another trip to best. a nice city sure somewhere. Else. He grew up in that area. Like, that's where most of his criminal record is, is in Georgia. He just said we're getting paid off of his work. No, you're getting paid off of our work. Yeah, bitch. We sent a bunch of fucking views to your channel. Yeah, we sent yeah, views to hey you. Guys, let's you're uh, getting paid off of our you. work. Don't forget about his um, thumbnail. But yeah, we crippled his fucking stream for like 15 minutes. <laughs> the whole thought behind this is... The world gives us an opportunity to do better than And no one cares anymore. Ugh. And it's over. Get back to the part where you're talking about us. That's uh-huh. when you're interesting, bitch. He's going to stop us, though. He's going to make sure he stops us. Yeah, he said, to, he said to me, and we was in the live chat, he said to me, Oh, fuck you. I'm not going to deal with someone with 10,000 subscribers. If When you get up to where I'm at, then I'll talk to you. That's what he said to me. All right, oh, well, I'm above him. him, and he ain't talked to me. <laughs> yeah, he's, so he's a lying yeah, piece of fucking like, shit. He had, he had that active DMCA on our channel, and TJ was in his chat room, and he was like, Mason oh, Anthony's there. a pussy. He won't debate me. He's a pussy. And then, like, TJ shows up and is like, yeah, I'll be on your show right now. He's like, oh, well, uh, I gotta go to I Vegas there. tomorrow. <laughs> I, I, see was, fans, uh, I, I see fans doing this. Oh, awesome. you were there, Tommy? Yeah, I was in there when TJ went in there. It was fucking funny. Yeah, he backed out he like backed a total out. pussy. Of course oh, yeah, he did. He backed out the whole time. Oh, we'll do it later. We'll said, do it later. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired he, right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, oh, no, I got something he, to do. Make it Wednesday. That's what he kept saying. He kept changing it. There's a bunch of people on there that are saying Glanderson Booper, and there's a bunch of people saying to accept Tommy from the Bronx's challenge. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Tommy. I've, I've seen plenty of evidence that suggests Brett did dox us to Joseph Martelli, like where we live, knowing that Joseph Martelli would come, like, to our town because we knew he came to our I d- town. I didn't realize, bro. Yeah, I, I don't know if Tommy's in on this because we went into it pretty in-depth on the Manatee episode, but we have pretty strong... Uh, verifiable evidence yeah, that Brett evidence. gave out multiple members of the Drunken Peasants' home addresses to Joseph Martelli. And people, like who, other people in the chat. And, well, but I mean, let's think about... Joseph the, Martelli you, was Tom, there. Tommy remembers Joseph Martelli posting pictures of guns and shit. He gave, he gave that person oh, our oh, addresses. Yeah. So that's the kind of person you're dealing with in Brett. Blanderson yeah. Gooper. Yeah, uh, that's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, these you know guys, he's a crazy he, fuck. These guys were pretty upset about it. I mean, I was upset about it, too. Um, but, like, you know, Paul and Ben is, uh, in particular were just, like, fuming. Yeah. I mean, like, why would you send someone who's clearly insane? I mean, it's one thing. You know, internet drama is one fucking thing, Brett. And you've said some pretty nasty things about me. But sending a fucking possibly unstable, insane person my address or my friend's addresses that ain't that that's that's a step beyond man that's like that should be punishable dude it's fuck it's fucking brett dude he doesn't give a shit like i mean honestly we all know what brett was hoping for he's hoping that joseph martelli would do some shit and i was just like you know what if he wants to fucking come here let him come here because i mean i don't think he's gonna do shit and he didn't do shit he ran away no he didn't and then brett the next day after he did run away and that video came out said he had balls yep yep Brett Keen came out the next day and said that, oh, man, look at the balls on Nob. He did say that. On Joseph Martelli. That whole scene was crazy. Look at the balls on this psychopath who I gave your addresses to. People are saying raid InfoWars. I don't think InfoWars would care. Hold hold on, Tommy. Go ahead, Tommy. Let Tommy talk. No, no, someone just wrote in the chat room that uh, Tommy Sotomayor is staying at the Double Tree in Atlanta. We should call us up, call his room. <laughs> oh my God! Should we? I don't know, dude. We should that's try. His Let's name try is it. his name is uh, Thomas uh, Harris. Harris. That's his real name. <laughs> oh God, dude! No, we can't do that. 
Yeah, we can. No. I mean, we, we. I guess we can. Why can't we? Oh, man. Gonna well, somebody's it. going to now, even if we don't. Yeah, dude, we're doing it. Somebody's <laughs> gonna do it. Might as well be us. <coughs> Dude, Paul, you have to affect like a, a British accent. Dude. You have to be like, there's two what, of them. What's his name? No, no, there's three of them in Atlanta. Which yeah, one? In downtown, I'm guessing. Oh shit! Well, yeah. it's gotta be the downtown. Yeah, because if you're looking through his window, it's definitely yeah, downtown. downtown. Dude. And you're sure his real name is Harris? Yes. Okay. Is, it, it, is that public knowledge, or did we just yeah, dox it, him? Yeah, it's in his criminal record. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's out there. Got it. We didn't dox <laughs> shit. All right. Names ain't criminal fucking record. doxing anyway. Fuck that shit. I know. I kind of agree. But well, it's already out there at any rate. It. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking, God. fucking Tommy. I will crap up. <laughs> All right, let's see if we he can probably won't answer the phone. Uh, they might not even put us through. Yeah, they might not. If we don't know his room number. TJ, or uh, who wants to do the talking? Um, I mean, I'll do it if you want. Paul would probably be I was hoping best, Paul would affect an accent. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do it like a, a British accent. <laughs> Will you? Okay. Perfect. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, that might be yeah. too do something funny. That more might get people believable. laughing. Uh, you want me to do like a country accent then? Hello. Yeah. No, all right. I'll do that. Do maybe, ever, that's, maybe that's more Can Atlanta. you adopt like a very authoritative voice? Yeah. <clears throat> What's his name again? Thomas Thomas Harris. Harris. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and give it a try. All right. I'm going to turn my mic up. Thank you for calling the Doubletree Atlanta downtown, located at 160 Ted Turner Drive, formerly Spring Ted Street, Turner Drive. Northwest in Atlanta, Georgia. For reservations, press 1. Directions, press 2. Accounting, press 3. Sales, press 4. Catering, press 5. Human resources, press 6. If you require operator assistance, please press zero or stay on the line. Please hold. Yeah, I'm going to mute everyone except for Paul. It's a wonderful night here at the Double Tree Atlanta. Alicia speaking. How can I help you? Uh, hello, Alicia. I'm trying to reach an associate of mine uh, that I know is staying in your hotel, uh, okay. a man named uh, Thomas Harris. Okay. I'm not sure what his Hold room on, number is, but I was hoping you might be able to help me with that. Okay. Um, let me see if I can connect you to his room, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Pleasure. Enjoy downtown convenience and double tree comfort when you stay with us. I apologize, sir. That was Thomas... Thomas Sir? Harris, ma'am. Sorry Thomas about that. Thomas Harris, okay. Hold on just a moment. No, it's okay. The ideal location to host your next off-site business meeting. You'll appreciate our facilities and our expertise here at the Doubletree by Hilton Hotel, Atlanta Downtown. With more than 14,000 square feet of meeting space, we can configure exactly the right venue. Ask for one of our sales and catering professionals to help you ensure your event is a success. Be sure to like us on Facebook and stay up to date on all our special packages, area events, and other news. We are Doubletree by Hilton Atlanta Downtown. Did you know you can also... I apologize, sir, but I have no time to here staying here in the hotel. Thank you very much. Sorry to waste your yes, time. Sir. No worries. An assumed yeah. name. Do you want to go dude. with Tommy Sotomayor? No, because I, if I get the same chick, she's going to know something's up. Damn. Yeah, I mean. Dang. We had a one shot that at that one, man. That would have been epic. <sighs> well, we tried. We gave it a shot, guys. We tried. Someone lied maybe to he's us. Not, maybe he's not at that That's... hotel. Could have been one of the other ones. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, is there one that's closer to the fucking Ferris wheel? Can you see it on a map? I don't know. What's we know Ferris we could see that fucking. Let's I don't know. See. We could see that fucking Ferris wheel from his window. 
So if Winda. it's a double tree, <laughs> it's Winda. sorry, I'm Winda. still, I'm still in, Winda. I'm still in Buck Manly mode. Winda. It's Winda. This is Buck Manly. I'm urgently trying to reach a, an associate of mine that might be staying at your hotel. Let's see. Hoping you could help me with That's that. It was call. near water. <laughs> yeah, it? that's true. It was. There's is like, there like a river? There's like water behind it. That can't be it. No. That's not the one. So we called the wrong double tree. How do you know it's even Atlanta? Like? Tommy said it was. I mean. Hold on. Saying Tommy's a liar. Yeah, I mean, our whole. Go ahead, Tommy. I was watching this, I was watching this live chat earlier. He said he's in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if we can find that. If that. If that. Uh, oh, it's Ferris right, wheel it is, right is the there. landmark. Oh, that is the right hotel? Skyview Atlanta. There's the. It, that must have been the right is one. Is that the double tree? It's right by the double tree. Okay. Well, if that's the one we called, then he's under an assumed name or Sick. somebody else's name, maybe. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, oh. It, it's def he's definitely in that hotel. He's do you want to call it? Hold on, TJ, you do it this time. Will you do it? Uh, I mean, like, they didn't find Thomas I mean, I'll Harris do another, there. I can do another fucking... I can, Tommy Sotomayor. You just want to try Does he go by that? Is that his, his legal name? No. I mean, his. we already know his legal name, so... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it'd work. Does he have to present a license or something? Yeah, he would. So, I mean, I don't know. Do you want to try you, it one you, more you, time? You know, there's a possibility he didn't pay for the room, too. Oh, uh, then it'd be some, under someone else's name entirely. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because, like, they, he would have had to show a license at the fucking front desk. Yeah, they, but you're not going to let you, you can check ask, in under an assumed name. They do, actually. They might have called him they up will. ahead and been like, there's someone calling for you. Do you want to talk to them? And he probably said no. That's 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 a big possibility. Because, like, she was gone a pretty long time. Someone, someone's writing in the chat right now. It's Harrison, not Harris. Oh. Harrison. Oh. You want to try one more time? Let's try one more time. All right. You can go ahead and do it again. All right. Are you gonna try it this time, TJ? Nope. Oh, I'm doing it again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wonderful day here be... at the Double Tree Atlanta. Hold I'm up. Speaking, how may I assist you? Uh, yes. I'm, I'm sorry. I I called you earlier looking for um, uh, somebody that might have been staying at your hotel, and I think I may have yes, given sir. you the. My... Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry to bother you again. Uh, okay. I I I think the last name might have been Harrison. It's been a long Harrison. time. Harrison, and if, if if you could take another look for me, I sure would appreciate it. Absolutely. Hold on just a second for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Double Tree by Hilton Hotel Atlanta downtown. We're conveniently located just a few blocks from Marta Peachtree Center, within walking distance to a number of Atlanta attractions, including Georgia Aquarium, the CNN Center, Phillips Arena in Centennial Olympic Park. Corporate travelers will appreciate our proximity to the Georgia World Congress Center, the fourth largest convention center in the United States. For business or pleasure, enjoy downtown convenience and double tree comfort when you stay with us. If you're looking for the ideal location to host your next off-site business meeting, You'll appreciate our facilities and our expertise here at the Doubletree by Hilton Hotel, Atlanta Downtown. With more than 14,000 square feet of meeting space, we can configure exactly the right venue. Ask for one of our sales and catering professionals to help you ensure your event is a success. Be sure to like us on Facebook and stay up to date on all our special packages, area events. Sorry, I apologize again. I do not have anyone uh, registered with the last name here soon. All right. Thank you very much for your help. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. I was watching. You guys there? Yeah. I, yeah, we're here. I was. I, I, oh, I sorry. Was, go ahead, Tommy. No, I was watching in the chat, and someone said that if you watch the stream, he denied the patch to the room. Oh, okay. Oh. Makes sense. I hear his chat's open again. <laughs> yeah. he, someone told me he yeah. reopened his chat. Where is it? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird show oh, this has been. Is. <laughs> this is not is. the usual episode. No, no, this is a... <laughs> 
Glanderson Booper. Right. Why would I want to fuck behind Glanderson Booper. What's he saying? Whatever. Why would I do that? Why would you do what? At what point would I do, would I do this? What'd you do? Glanderson Booper. Don't forget to throw some time. Guys, give me one second. <laughs> Phone's ringing. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, yeah, this is when they were calling him. <laughs> Glandus and Booper. Glandus and Booper. Glandus and Booper is coming to your chat. <laughs> Take Tommy's challenge. Take Tommy's challenge. Yeah, so we didn't know his room number because it pretty much just connected us then. Look at him walk away. He's talking to somebody. This is on the delay from when we were on hold. Maybe. It is. Because yeah. I know the YouTube delay. Wow. <laughs> there he goes. Is coming to your chat. How about you hear him? You hear him? Oh. that? Yeah, I hear him. I heard him say something. Let's see what he says when he comes back. <coughs> yeah. Them stupid white boys. Don't connect no one to my room. My room is sacrosanct. <laughs> Glenn. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Huh? All right, uh -huh. we're back. Anyway. She says nothing. Behind that, you have to deal with the same old crap. Well, they're making the views go up, so I don't mind doing it. That is the only reason go. why I wow, unlocked I it, so they come out. back. Now you're thinking. Now you're thinking like us, Tommy. Yeah, you, we've taught. Tommy yeah, what's amazing is you tonight. guys are trying to find my address and phone number. Oh, see, so they can yep. call it. Yep, yep. And I want you guys to see how far these white people are going. Yeah. These white people. I want y'all yeah. to see how far they these white to, people are going to mess with someone wanted, that doesn't even know. They wanted to call me and say Glenda's doesn't know them at all. It's a national emergency. <laughs> see, it is boxed. Doesn't know them. Isn't bothering them. Isn't anything. Does isn't bothering them. Crippling this is what our these white boys figure is for a month. That isn't bothering us, Tommy. Yeah, you fuck with the wrong white motherfuckers, yeah. bitch. <laughs> right. I mean, fuck. You just said we're helping you. Yeah, so chill the fuck out. But he he doesn't he can't actually take that attitude. Let us help no. you. That's not how he actually. Oh, he, he killed the chat again. Dude, by Tommy the way. is so fucking salty, dude. Tommy is salty. He is. He's All right. Take anything. He is salty. Now the woman says, "What does she say?" That the reason we didn't talk. I want y'all to understand this. Ah, uh, you're boring. The woman says that the reason we didn't talk. Mm-hmm. Are you talking about us? Are you talking about women? No. He, can't about do it. he can't do it, man. He can't fucking do it. We're, 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 too, we're too far inside Tommy's head right now. He's like, fuck these guys. <laughs> yeah. But he's trying to play it up, but he just keeps going right back to us. Oh, yeah, dude. He's, he, he's oh, he keeps going right back. He's watching us. He's trying to watch us and talk to them. Sorry, exactly. no videos tonight, fun. boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess uh, we got a show planned for Wednesday, though. Yeah, we got a lot of videos for Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, this was an, an odd show. Yeah, it, but very it was, I had unique. fun. Yeah, I don't know about too. you guys. <laughs> like it's it. not totally done yet. No, I mean, there's still yeah, time. Yeah, we still got time, yeah. but I'm just saying. It's not in the past tense yet, Paul. Are we going to do the post show? Lazy Paul, yeah. All right. So, everyone who's not already subscribed to us on SoundCloud, check out the links below and on our main page here on YouTube. Yeah, because we will be doing a post show. Yes, we will start doing post shows after every the episode. The post show is coming back. Yep. So, don't forget to check that out. Go and to I, SoundCloud. It'll yep. be up probably within the next 24 hours. And I know that Ben already has stressed this to you guys before, but since we are entering the month of December here... 
I do want to stress once again that if you do do any Christmas shopping on Amazon.com, please use the Amazon links in our description because then we get a percentage. doesn't cost you any more. just makes us some money, supports the show. Super easy way to help us out. It's a way that you can, you can help us out without even having to sacrifice a cent on something you weren't going to buy anyway. Exactly. So please do that. Uh, if you are going to shop on Amazon, I just beg you from the bottom of my evil black little heart to please fucking shop on Amazon uh, using our Amazon affiliate links in the description section of this video and all Drunken Peasants videos. Because that would be nifty. That would be sweet. So she could use the money to buy drugs. 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 It takes a lot of drugs to run this podcast. It does, you know. Drugs. You need drugs. You need <laughs> drugs. It would not be the same Your money the is going to drugs. Raid TYT. TYT isn't fucking live, okay? Even I know, though they're broadcasting I know live. that there's a broadcast going on, but there, there always is. They broadcast 24-7. They're not actually doing a live show right now. Yeah, if they were doing like a live fan show or something. And also, even if they were, they're not paying attention to some YouTube chat. They probably don't even fucking know what is going on on it. Maybe there's someone at yeah. the fucking studio that's monitoring it or something, but probably not. Because it's really pretty inconsequential. Only fucking retards like Tommy are going to get butthurt over their chat being spam. Yeah, I mean, no lie, dude. Our chat is nothing but spam, and we're not sitting here like, oh my god, the chat is such a cesspool. Boo hoo. I mean, I guess we have in the past, but we're over it. <laughs> that was so funny. He had to like go and answer the phone. That was hilarious, man. I wish he I wish would have picked up, man. I wish he would have picked up. What a pushback. Why didn't he just let us fucking Glad talk to him for and Booper. Oh, Tommy was scared, dude. Scared of what? <laughs> scared of being confronted. Oh, dude, he's obviously totally non-confrontational unless he thinks he has a huge advantage. And calling that him on un- yeah, calling him unaware, there's no way he's going to take that call. He's going to be like, who? Oh, no, I-, I don't know anybody. They don't need to be calling me. No. That bitch at the fucking Doubletree fucking lied to us. She's like, I don't have they no have one to. like that at that hotel. Yeah. You're a lying bitch, ha- Doubletree chick. That's a they standard have thing. to. That's a standard thing to say. You're a lying ass bitch. That well, way that they don't they don't admit that the person is there, they have to do that. If the person says they don't want contact, they have to say that the person isn't there. That lady did her job, and she was very nice. <laughs> she lied to us. She's a bad person. Well, lying is part of life, TJ. She's a bad person, y'all. Raid DP. Fuck yeah. Shit. DP sucks. DP <laughs> sucks. DP sucks. Ben just got up to look for his little puppy, but she came over yeah. to me and jumped up on me, and so I picked her up, and I've yeah. been snuggling her for a little while. Oh, yeah. She's she so is nice. Death. She's Who such a death? sweet little rat. DP raid on itself. Yeah, let's raid the drunken peasants. Glanderson Yeah, Booper. raid us with Glanderson Booper. Glanderson Do it, bitches. Booper. Bring it. Do it now. Do your worst, you <laughs> fucking cunts. <laughs> we take as good as we give, man. Come on. Glanderson also, post insults. Booper. Post insults yeah. about yeah, all of us. Yeah, post insults about how we're all fucking garbage. The nastiest things that you can think of. <laughs> let's yeah. do it. Piss us off. DP sucks. Do it. Damn right, DP fucking sucks. We're, we're all the all shittiest all show you've ever fucking seen in your goddamn miserable for those of you fucking lives for those of you that are new to the post show we're gonna play the theme song right now yeah so you have a feeling That's yeah. a badass song for a badass post show. <laughs> so check out the uh, post der postin show. Tommy, you can come to the post show with us. If you wish. Yeah, man. You're invited to the post show. Hell yeah. You get backstage pass into the post show. Yeah. To yo. the post show. Where it gets crazy. Like we hold back on yep. the weed until the post show. Yeah, man, when we got on the post show, that's when the real talk comes out. Yeah, I didn't hold back today. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, had so, I had, like, two fucking things of, like, the tincture, then I was like, no, I need, I need a third one. Then I had, like, some of the legal, and I had a cookie. Glam. So Scotty I, Stone. So I'm on another Ooh, fucking planet, dude. Yeah. Glam. It's an awesome planet Ooh, where people, yeah. Glanderson, Booper, Tommy Sotomayor. Yeah. What an awesome planet. <laughs> TJ is just an edgelord. 
She is. She's Cause it. I'm just a YouTube edge lord, baby. Ford Edge, Edge Phone, Edge City, Edgy, yep. Edgy fucking teenage uh, poetry. Yep. And I'm gonna kill you with an edge of a knife. Uh, is if you? So so how much. Many, all, how many different Tom flavors of weed have you tried? <sighs> Is uh, oh, the so chat's many. open again? Tommy's chat is open again. Glandus and Booper. Every time Glandus they want to come over here, they can do the same thing. Wow, no. Glandus and Booper. Just concentrate on the show. Glandus and Booper. Glandus and Booper. Anyway, um. Glandus and Booper. So while listening to this woman. Tommy, say it. Say Glandus and Booper. blood is boiling. That's all we want, Tom. Say Gladys She's and Booper. Me, All this can end if you just like say I wasn't Gladys serious. and Booper. Say She's it, then Tommy. telling me it seemed like I was too good of a guy. I traveled right. too much. Jerk off. She wasn't ready and yeah. all that shit. I was too awesome. But now she's ready, though. Maybe he's got it in, like, sub mode or I was trying to shit. understand. Nope, there it is. I <laughs> Never mind. All that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw all of that crap though. When she wasn't pregnant, when she wasn't getting nutted in by this dude. <laughs> now all of a sudden, you're currently pregnant. And I'm good enough to date you. You are currently pregnant. It's coming, Tommy. It's coming. Das and Boopa. Oh. Das and Boo. Glenn Beck and Anderson Cooper. Together they are Glendus and Boopa. One day, Glenn Beck met Anderson Cooper and fucked him in his pooper. Glendus and Boopa. Glendus and Boopa. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He put his head down and shit and all his shit. He's working it. at the same Say it, Tommy. damn Say it, Tommy. bar Say that it. you've been at for the last four to five Say it, years. Tommy. Since I met. You don't care about this. No one cares Damn about that. Same boys. bar, life is not changed. No one cares. No one cares. You didn't want me when you had no kid. DP equals dumb peckers. Now you want me. Uh, we got just us. got pwned, dude. Got us. Pawned. Dumb pecker woods. They dumb peckers. They pay down for dumb old Clandison peckers. Clandison Booper. Look at him. He's reading it. Clandison Booper. The game is this. Dude, I love it. At dude. what part of the game does this make sense? At what part of the game? At, at no point would this seem to make any sense. Usually he but has his whole chat of lockdown. That was the game. Apparently that's what we got to do. There's too many posts for all of his mods to block them all. Oh, yeah. They're trying, yeah. though. They're trying. So I'm looking They're at it, and I'm damnest. thinking, all righty, then. <laughs> Glad but what about this offer sounds interesting? Like, that was the point. Like, I was like, what about this offer even sounds interesting? Anderson Booper. You're big as a house. Anderson Gooper. You're telling me. 19 excuses of why you wouldn't talk to me before. Oh, so he's bitching about I'm like doing relationships. The math. Yeah. Yeah. And if I had been with you in the summer when you were asking me to, uh -huh. you would have tried to pin this kid on me. <laughs> pin a kid. <laughs> Whatever, Tommy. What about this? Glanderson Booper. Man, you guys are so down, kid on dude. Tommy. I don't see nearly as many glanders yeah, and thin it out, man. Dude, this guy makes a fucking movie called Father of America. That's like trying to pin a kid on me now. Thinning out the herd. Yeah, it's all right, though. They probably blocked Glanderson yeah. yeah. Booper, so you guys have to get more creative with your Glanderson Boopers. Yeah, maybe he added Why Glanderson so Booper to a blacklist. Or just poop ball the fuck out of him. Yeah. Poop, balls. Poop, poop balls. Poop, poop balls. 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 Poop balls. Poop balls. Poop balls. How many of you men have poop balls? Let's say something like 10. Dude, poop isn't it cool balls. that we're like, like I, I'm acting like I acted when I was 13, but I'm 36. <laughs> we're the same. We haven't matured. I never matured. I just stopped at 13. I reached my peak, and it's just I think I, that balls. Way. I think I made it to at least 15. Poop balls. 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 <laughs> Are we seeing it yet? Look at him. He's mad. There we go. There's poop balls. Yep, poop, poop balls. 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 There we go. Poop ballas. Look at him. Tommy's trying to special. Glanderson poop balls. I like that too. 
Yeah, that's nice. Nice creativity, chat. Glanders and poop balls. You took the two things and made them into one. (laughs) Glanders and poop balls. Glanders and poop balls. Glanders and poop balls. Glanders and poop balls. balls. It isn't much. Dude, I just want to show you my support. We can put his name in it so so he'll have to block his own name. Motivate. Oh, so you motivate interesting discussions. Speak the truth in a thought-provoking way and even find a way to make what may be considered mundane into... Uh, Crackers are very hours annoying. Long. Wow, that's top. racist. Like what a racist the spelling word combo or the food combo <laughs> oh, last night. Keep doing what you're doing, Alyssa. Thank you, Alyssa, for the donation. Um, <laughs> get the, the fuck out, atheist. The poop, oh, got another the one poop emoji. Yvonne sent a donation. Thank you, Yvonne. This is fun. Um, thank you, everybody that's just thought enough to donate. Um, I guess stupid stuff like this have a silver silver lining. Once they come over and What's their do all this kind of stuff, people donate. So great. Now you're awesome. thinking like um, us, Tommy. Don't try to fight them. Guys. Um, if you want to, you can, but don't try to fight them. Just let them. Just let them speak. Um, I'll leave it open because the numbers go up. And then when I want it to go down, I'll close it and they'll come back. <laughs> so it's, right. it's it's fine. Um, yeah, it's not. Whatever. But. Just say poop balls. Poop balls. Say How many of you men pooper. have realized when you go no, to something like uh, do it. Tinder? Fuck you, What Tommy. happens is he's just gonna keep bitching about women. Fuck you, Tommy. Women who are say Glanders and Booper, Tommy. Say Glanders yeah, yeah, and Booper, right. Tommy. Pull the string. You say something, Tommy? Pull the string. Tommy from the Bronx. Oh shit! Yo, what's he from? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. I thought you said something, but I couldn't hear you. you you've cut out a couple times. No, I, I said he has enough money now he can ride that fucking Ferris wheel behind him with his donations. Yeah, cool. there you go. <laughs> go get a ticket on the Ferris wheel on us, Tommy. Tommy, uh, dude, do you still have your Winnebago that you got? He's in it right now, well, man. Is he? I'm in it right so, now. So when the fuck are you coming here, motherfucker? That's a long-ass when road trip. I've done it. I said, when, when I'm invited, I'll You're come. invited. You're invited now, Tommy. <laughs> come smoke Fuck it, weed. I'm going now. Come, come on go. now. <laughs> come smoke weed and be in the studio for a show, Tommy. We'd love to have you. You, you could be show you security, Tommy. <laughs> you just have to no sign problem. an agreement that you're not going to beat the shit out of any of us. <laughs> he would never <laughs> do that. I think you want me to beat you with your, my dick. Whoa. Well, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I would take uh-huh. a cock slap. I would take a cock slap for the right amount of money. For the right amount, Paul will take a big old cock slap to the face. <laughs> Whap! I think I think he'll take it for free. That's my guess. Oh, oh. damn! That may be true. <laughs> I would have I would have said I wouldn't kiss Tommy for free, but that happened. So he might, he might just pull his dick out and I'll just instinctively drop to my knees and take a cock slap. Oh, you'll drop your <laughs> knees, but I don't know if the cock slap is what you're taking, uh. dude. No, I won't suck his dick. You might not suck it, but I have, it's, going, I have it's my, going down your I have throat, my scruples, dude. dude. I have my scruples, okay? Yeah. Well, they preclude dick your sucking. Your scruples are going to suck on his dick, too. All right. We'll see. They, hey, that might, hey, that Tommy, might have to pay $10 for that. Can I rescind, can I rescind Tommy's invite now? Because <laughs> I kind of I, I don't want to suck nope, his dick. No, Tommy, please. <laughs> I'm kidding. Tommy, please start driving today. Get on the road. I'll, you know what, Tommy? Uh, do you like seafood? <laughs> Lots of good seafood here. Seafood. Seafood. We got all kinds of shit. Yeah, but is there anywhere I can park? This, this thing's 42 feet long. Oh. Is there anywhere I can park this thing over there? Yeah. Uh, I, I could probably find. I mean, probably. I could probably find a we place could find for something. You. Is there any RV yeah. resorts over there? I'm no, sure. I mean, I, probably I, not like right in I town. I know like, but, a, you know. like a curbside you could probably park it on if, oh, okay. if you really wanted right. to. Cool. So Cool sweet. beans and no oh, ass cool. hat, everybody. Um, it's really nice out here, so. <coughs> and there's weed. Do you, yeah, guys, do you remember those motherfuckers acting like they were throwing up in, in, in Columbus? Do you remember that shit? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> oh, what are he you was, doing? They got all he scared was, and ran away like little bitch. He was gonna beat up some uh, Columbus college kids, basically. Huh. And by the way, there was like a murder on campus in Columbus today. Yeah, but hurt Michigan fans. Well, there no wasn't. Doubt. There wasn't a, a murder though. 
It was a guy that... People, someone died. Oh, did they? Because yeah. last, I, last I heard, the only one that died was the guy that uh, tried to perpetrate it. Oh, okay. I heard that he, he died because he was shot by the police and 11 people were injured and when he ran people over with his car and stabbed some people with a butcher knife at OSU. Was he a Michigan fan? Uh, he's a Muslim. He's a Muslim, Muslim. dude. Oh, Somali. Probably a Michigan fan then. He was a, Som- a Somali guy. Oh, probably a, Michigan. He was a student there. Probably Michigan. Yeah, Michigan. I blame Michigan. You guys got out Michigan. just in time. Yeah, it wasn't dude. Islam. It was fucking Michigan. We all actually know it. someone sent because there's a th- there's a thing on Facebook. It's like safe alerts. Like if you're like in an area where there's dangerous shit going on, you can like mark yourself as safe. I I didn't even know that until today. That's how I became aware of this story. That's crazy. And you had a uh, friend that marked herself safe or some shit. Yeah, and then like I was brought into that because of because of them. That's crazy. So, and and then they were like, TJ might be here, want to mark him safe, and that, all that kind of shit. It was weird. I didn't even know what had gone on at that point. Crazy stuff, dude. But you know what? I still maintain that, like, Somalis, by and large, I mean, I don't have a problem with them. Yeah, I mean, it's just one one dude. But, I mean, like, obviously there's some fucking connections there. Because we Islam lived in a place like with so many that. Somalis for so long and never saw any <laughs> Well, that's trouble. the thing is, like, we have a huge, there's a huge Somali population um, in Columbus. There Wasn't there a, um, the guy that attacked the restaurant in Columbus who was, I believe, was Somali? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, there, I mean like, there's I, an undercurrent. Some of them, of some of them are definitely causing problems for sure, no right. doubt. But yeah, it's like the the children and grandchildren of refugees. Yep, they so. get radicalized by the internet. Exactly. Have family connections to people who are radicalized, and bum ba bum. There it goes. It's probably like a Trump thing too. Like you elect Trump, I kill you. So Tommy, in five days, you're gonna be here in Seattle. Uh. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven days. <laughs> Seven days. How many hours a day are you gonna drive? What the fuck? Winnebago's are slow, dude. I yeah, got dude. here. Yeah, it's a fucking RV, not, not a fucking Maserati. <laughs> hey, I got here in my uh, Don't in go my that fast. in my Dodge Charger V8. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's, no a little, shit. that's a little <laughs> faster than a fucking forty-two and, uh, foot motorhome. Hey, Battle Race, you get your Dodge Charger. I'll get an airplane. Let's see who gets there first. You know, come on, airplane. Let me race your SUV instead. No. Uh, why? <laughs> no, thank you. I'll uh, have to say no on that one. I need to get new tires, though, because the wet weather here makes me fishtail really bad. Ben just drives like a maniac. Yeah, right. I'm getting word that uh, Tommy Sotomayor's real name is Devin Tracy. Devin Tracy. <laughs> crazy yeah seriously tommy I, I i think you're a fan of Devin. like how can you stand behind him now he is totally i mean he's totally at at the bottom at this point i i just think he's i think he's funny i think he's quick with it too and does his videos are well done i don't i don't agree with any with, of that i don't agree with everything i don't agree with everything he has to say but i find him entertaining I, I can't say I've never been entertained by one of his videos. I just find that he's easily butt hurt. Oh, that no, is that's, true. That's definitely true. And and like, you know, we invited him to come on our show, and he acted like it was beneath him. But we saw the truth behind that because all it took was him to have his own show, which was basically a copy of our show, <laughs> and have his biggest fans agree, disagree with him once to end the show forever. Yeah, like it'd be like if yeah, it Hillary uh, thing. when the Brett Keen thing happened, like people were like, "Pay Brett." I was just like, "You know what? Fuck this show, y'all. I'm gone. Drunken peasants is over. The fans didn't well, like something like, I did. I'm done with them." No, it'd be like I, if I give you shit for being lazy, and you're like, "Fuck that. I'm done with this," and you leave. Maybe I am too. I'm lazy. I'm too lazy to do this shit. I'm gone. I'm out. It's funny because like he was like, "I am the show." <laughs> That was the problem, though. Right. You because can't, you can't was, have an ensemble cast where it's all about one person. Yeah, could you imagine if DP was just like TJ with all of us, like, figuratively blowing him? Like, like everything I say, they're, they're just, oh, TJ, oh, good, TJ, good, oh, yeah. Good job, TJ. TJ. Good job. Wow, you're so much smarter than all of us. I mean, that'd be a great show for me. Yeah, that, that's TJ's fantasy world. Not so world. much if for the fucking audience. That's like how the Flying Monkey podcast was. And it's so ironic because... Oh, Devin. It's so, oh. it's so ironic because that night, Paul, 
Paul had watched a little bit of that, like, before that shit went down, and yeah. he was like, he did this imp- impersonation of Anthony. It was like, oh, you can do that so smoothly, but I can't do that. Not like you, Devin. Yeah, yeah. He like, talks to him like that. Yeah. I'm not like you, Devin. I'm not like you. I can't just, I can't just let, it, let it go like you do, you know? And I can't, I can't you know, I, I can make my own videos, but they wouldn't be anything like uh, what you would make, Devin, because I just not, I can't, yeah. I, can't, I can't do it like you, you know? I, I don't have and that. And then later, so, so Paul's, imp- uh, Paul's impression of that episode was everyone blowing AIU just like normal. The girl like, in there was doing it too. Yeah, yeah, Laika. Oh yeah, they both Laika. they both worship at that fucking so, altar of cock. So then, not anymore. They no. used to. Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe she still does. Maybe I don't know. I does. yeah, I don't know. I don't know what her position Anthony is. got out. But then Anthony was kicked out later on in that show. They're like, you know, Hillary. She's talking some weird shit. Can you acknowledge yep. that? You know, and Devin flipped out. He was banning bearing and other people <laughs> that would normally agree with him. I, I was in there. And ever since then, Devin has been hemorrhaging subscribers. Yep. I, I know he'll claim that he doesn't care, but he cares. Of course he does. If there were zero people watching his videos, he wouldn't make them. Exactly. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. He loves it. <laughs> He loves YouTube for see he so loved the YouTube that he cared not if no one was watching. I'm not saying like Devin, listen, I agree with you, okay? Yeah. I love you. Look, look, man. I don't want to fucking do this, man. Look, I I fucking hate American politics, man. Yeah. That's what it does to people, you know? Look, look, I don't fucking disagree, Devin, okay? Everything you say is right, okay? Okay? (laughs) And he's like, I'm just done. I'm just done. He's Uh averaging negative thirty eight subscribers. Good job, Devin. He might be blocking 30 yeah, I mean, no, day. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, that could be the blocks he's in. I think it day. was the anti-Trump shit because I think a lot, I think he had a lot of alt-right supporters until he started with the Dude, blatant anti-Trump Even shit. if I make videos that are kind of anti-Trump, they don't even have to be like virulently anti-Trump, but like even if I make like a criticism of Trump, like man, Trump's cabinet appointment kind of sucked there, people will be like, oh, subscribe. How dare you defy God Emperor Trump? Like shut up. He's, let's let's watch it really quick here. It's ten minutes. The human block bot. Okay. Let's watch it in the post show. Yeah, fuck him. Oh yeah, yeah. We can do that. Alex Sanders. Show. Somebody, somebody just said Alex Sanders to me. Oh, so you want to do this? Let's do this in, in the, the fucking post, post show. show fodder. In the post show. All right. Show. So we're gonna end this shit, and then we're gonna pick this up in the post show on SoundCloud. If you guys want to see this shit. You won't Head fucking miss it. Head over to the post show. Link is in the description. This video, people have been waiting for us to comment on this video. Yeah, now you'll see. I waited a while because, honestly, I was buddies with Anthony, and I didn't want to betray his trust. But I think by now, yep. you know, like... This is okay. Yeah. So let's show it. Before we go, to big thanks to to my friend Tommy from the Bronx for being here and chilling with us tonight. Tommy, go, go yeah. check him out. I go subscribe to his shit. Yeah, Tommy, I expect to see your I uh, your RV. Your part. IV. Your your IV. Fuck, man. <laughs> Damn, Show man. me your IV. Yeah. So so start driving now, buddy. All right. Thanks for having me, guys. It's All right. Good night. Like it up. Thanks, Tommy. Oh, shit. Should we keep him on for the post show? Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hold on. Just go ahead and call him back real quick. I'm going to end. Uh... All right. We're in right, this. Night, Please everybody. give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe to Tommy from the Bronx. See you motherfuckers later. Peace. Peace.